The shit would have been so raw. Nigga, oh I'm God. talking about not, you, not you gotta go home body. to that one bedroom apartment the niggas was in and look around and the realize. The crazy part is you already late. You right. late on My the wife, rent when the pandemic hit. You hear me, man, this Niggas don't shit. understand, like, I don't be talking like about losses and shit, but like, all right, during the pandemic, a motherfucker had no, um, broke into my store, you know? Okay. They took everything. Everything. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So I was like, all right, but I'm so blessed to not even trip on that shit because, bro, I'm talking about, a loss that would have probably had me like, oh, no. I had you looking for a nigga. Had, had, but I ain't mean, it was just to the point where I'm like, okay, I know I'm even bled during a pandemic. I can't make no money. I still got to pay my motherfucking bills and my mama bills. Right. And these niggas, niggas know it's a pandemic and they taking every dollar out and they want every penny. Exactly. During the pandemic. The light bill, the gas bill, the cable bill, they want all day money. They don't give a fuck about no motherfucking pandemic, bitch, nigga. The, yeah, the Pay world me. still on that 30-day cycle, man. That's the way the world works. <laughs> world work in 30-day cycles. Every 30 days. Every, every 30 days. Every 30 days, you got to get it together. And it don't matter how many 30-day cycles you hit before. If you miss this one, you don't get no credit for the last ones. Niggas ain't gonna right. be like, man, you been good for 10 years. We ain't even gonna trip, bro. Get it to us when you can. What the fuck was the purpose of the stimulus check? So they won't give you your money on your refund? You what know did, what I think what did it was? They do? You know what I think it so did? So they won't give you your money on that refund? When it's time for a refund check, they already know that. Because first of all, you had to file and put your information in, fool. So when you file and you put your information in, they already know they gave it to you. So next year when it's time for the refund check, they're like, hey, boy, you remember that stimulus? <laughs> you thought you were getting uh, 15, 40, you getting three. <laughs> it made me realize how they play with money, though, because it's like they ain't got no money to do anything else, but then out of nowhere, trillions. Trillions? To give away. Nigga, been poor. To give away, my nigga. 1,200 <laughs> to give away. You dig? And it's like... Niggas ain't even what, have a bank who, account. They who the bank I want to meet the motherfucker who came right. up with that amount. Like, that's a, that's a nigga amount. Really? Hold up, hold up. Run that shit back again. Minimum, minimum wage, wage times what? Whatever minimum wage. My boy. Minimum wage times. My boy. Appreciate you. Minimum wage times. Four weeks, so a month. Minus taxes. So seven twenty-five times forty. I got to see that shit because I was a minimum wage getting ass nigga. No, I won. I was eight twenty-five. I but I did get minimum wage before. Oh, Temp sir. Seven twenty-five times forty. Time four. Plus forty dollars. Just to give you something to live off of. What the fuck was that for? Man, it's a cold Nigga, game out here. It's a cold game. But motherfuckers was excited to get it though. Like, ooh, free money. This shit money. can't start till they start playing me some pimpin. We just, I don't I don't know. Give me some man. That sound like some. This that's shit it. go with my hairstyle. It does. <laughs> Welcome back. You deliver some good bad news to this. Oh, when it's cold outside. Welcome back to the only place where you can get what you're getting right now. So I don't know where you've been, but welcome back to the place where you can't go nowhere else to get what you're getting. Bro, you My, gotta let me shape you up, bro. I'm already shaped up, baby. I'm in shape. <laughs> Chico, you did? look how Marvin Gaye looking at your hair. Marvin Gaye looking at me because I look like his brother. Marvin shit looked like this in the 80s, baby. It looked like I run a cricket record label right here, Brothers <laughs> Records. <laughs> Yeah, you can trust me. You dig? That's what we doing. And for all the people that keep telling me to get a haircut, motherfucker, you get a haircut. Well, your shit look like a tornado five in the middle right there. Ooh. Hurricane three right here. Ooh. Yeah, that's what we doing, baby. We back. 85 South Show. Smooth with it. When it's cold outside. Yeah, that's what happened. Most definitely. That was real fly and real pimpish. You did? You just we back. Did that, you man. did? You, we back, man. We was just sitting here talking about the economics of the economy. The economics of the economy. That's a good way to put it. You did? You know what I'm saying? Talking about how the pandemic has impacted us as entertainers. Yes. You know? 
there's good things that we got works in the can that's still coming out that's keeping our face out there. Yeah. Still gaining new fans each and every day. You know what we're doing? Right. We're building an economy. This is an economy. Exactly. Because building we infrastructure. Infrastructure. Yeah. We, this is this is a platform where we can get our mental thoughts and our you know, perspectives out to the world. Right. Regardless of the world shutting down, we still give them what we can give to the world when we can give it. You know it, what this so. is right here? What is this? This is a mechanism right here. Yes, Ooh. it is. Yeah. Ooh. Been on my shit? A useful mechanism. Oh, when it's cold outside. <laughs> so you saying this is basically a microcosm of what's going to be. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Man. I don't know what that would mean, but I'm mad like it. Ooh. Microcosm, it means it's just a small version of what it's to become huge. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, kind of like a model. When it's cold outside. What we're doing is we're getting our infrastructure together. Okay. Because we're going to manipulate the whole shit and run up in it like the Carter and bum rush the whole damn thing. You did. But make sure we be methodical about it. Man, we Ooh. have to be methodical Ooh. and our methods. When it's cold you know? outside. We gotta give some shouts out to all the black essential workers, man. I've been doing a lot of threads on Twitter, black business owners, yep, black I've been educators. Yeah, I've you doing that. Black educators, all black business that, owners. You been fucking with all the black people on Twitter? Yeah, most I gotta definitely, start doing man. it. I ain't even been on Twitter. Yeah, man, we miss your crazy ass. Say mm. some shit. Chico don't fuck with it. Yeah, I don't be on there like that. You yeah. know what Twitter I'm lit. Twitter lit. Yeah, Twitter lit. You, but go, this, there, you, know, you the, go out there and really the, cuss the motherfucker out. This the king of Twitter right here. Don't oh, yeah, nobody he don't. tweet like Carlos Miller. But I it's all for Twitter purpose. all the time. I be retweeting motherfucker. I'm gonna retweet a nigga now. Yeah, that's all retweet a nigga right now. Man, go gonna re retweet a nigga man, right now. Man, go retweet one of them fine-ass people. Some fine oh, ass when it's cold outside. In that thread. Oh my God. Let me see. Finna retweet. While y'all retweeting, I'm gonna go through some world happenings just so the world can know that we know what's happening. Y'all really be uh, on the DC. FBI said they will not press charges over the noose found in Bubba Wallace garage. They said the noose been there since fall 2019. Who? What? Who? Pause, pause the music. Pause, 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 pause the music. Right, we're back now. God damn. What happened, nigga? The FBI said they will not press charges over the noose found in Bubba Wallace's garage. They determined the noose had been there since fall 2019. Who is the lowdown motherfucking scoundrel? Who saw a news hanging and left that bitch? NASCAR. That's I'm talking about They should news. arrest the motherfucker who made it a news original. But that, why you, we shouldn't be surprised? That's NASCAR, man. That is not Nas, Negro nah, we, friendly. Nah, we got to give NASCAR credit, man. They stood in solidarity they stood with Bubba. They walked that nigga to the car. Nigga, now they know. pushed that nigga car, nigga. Man. And you know like, what? Go go all right. He prayed the game, motherfucker. All right, shit. whatever. Fuck right, that shit didn't is. impress me at all. Whoever had something to do with that noose was probably the closest motherfucker right. to the car. I was probably impressed. on the back panel like the nigga who let JFK get shot. This nigga was fake reaching and shit. Yeah, dirty bitches. I wasn't impressed with that, man. That's called Clay House, though. They made ooh, some of their drivers go to sensitivity talk. training. They told them people stop bringing them Confederate flags. What is that doing? I don't like it, Los. I'm going to go ahead and say it. I don't what? like the way they've been trying to fake give us shit. And that we didn't ask it. for. We ain't asked for like nothing. What, Who the fuck told them to take Aunt your mama off the surf? Like, hey, nigga, the family man didn't the motherfucker that. about that. I, that was next. I mean, I don't understand. Oh, Uncle Ben is out great, here. Her great niece was up there like, please don't take my auntie off there. I don't know who the hell told. That's the real auntie. Now. But think about it. Let's say they did say they do take Aunt Jemima off the surf. Now they admit in 2020 that? that it was racist. So what are you gonna give us for all the other years we've been staring at that racist shit? You ain't gonna give they us. They gotta replace her with another black woman. No, they you gotta know, make surf free for niggas. That's what they gotta do. Nigga, you know why it's racist? Because it, you know Aunt Jemima ain't really Aunt Jemima. It's that ain't your mama. You are high already. Yeah, already. <laughs> you already high. Uncle Ben too. Uncle Ben. Gone. I don't like how we losing black people though. Yeah. I know it's racist as fuck, but if they gonna take them off, fuck, yeah. put somebody else on there. Right. Ain't Master your mama P. ain't racist. Bro. Change that shit from Uncle Ben to Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil raised the generation. I right, fuck with some Uncle Phil rights. They put yeah. motherfucking no. Uncle Phil from Fresh Prince on no. there. That'll work. I'm they said they was gonna replace Aunt Jemima with a, a black lady named <laughs> Sheila that's a lawyer that like waffles sometimes. Hell no, keep Aunt Jemima on there. How they hide, well, why, why is it racist? They, they need to send the family a check, first of all. But why is Aunt Jemima racist? They, they say Aunt it, Jemima is racist because it was, a, it was a term used during slavery to describe, you know, mammies, you know what I mean? It's like a Well, they literally hired mammies. the lady to come and make pancakes and tell stories about the old fucking Confederate South. It really was a that shit really happened. So well, that's why, yeah. And that shit came from a menstrual show. 
Man, man, keep the goddamn lead on there. Man, let listen. let the syrup be great. You know what this shit like? What, what, what they Ms. doing now? Miss Buttersworth is out of here. You know what they doing now? You, it's like if you had no, if you got, if you watching somebody else's child. You know when you mm -hmm. like, if you left no man here and said she go watch it real quick, I'm great. Run to the store. As soon as you walk out, she start crying. First thing I'm gonna do, oh baby, what you, what you want some? You want this paper? Mm -hmm. you, you, you want this candle? What you need? Which just to try to appease it, but you ain't really Hold giving on. her they nothing. They getting everybody out of here. Man, Cream man. of wheat, man. Who? The cream of wheat, man, been well, black. What is that doing? That ain't helping Eskimo niggas at Eskimo pie. All. Cause I, I always think we care about the little shit. Just get them nigga honey buns, god damn. Right, they, hey, they, they should have been changed the name <laughs> of Eskimo pie. Cause that is some dirty sex shit. That's what, look it up. You they know need, the Eskimo Nah, you got to go ahead and explain that one. I ain't hear There's basically women who share cum with each other. Ooh, oh. that's, keep it, keep ooh. the Eskimo pie. Fuck that ain't got pie? nothing to do with black people. They black women ain't doing that nasty well, shit. You never I'm heard of that term? Like if you have sex, like if or lady, like if say two friends have sex with the same dude, they call them Eskimo sisters. Okay, so that's oh. like that's in the same lane as like the Superman. You have to be one of the well, old school of the internet tricks, perverts then. to even know anything about this type of shit. They gotta get rid of the tricks, uh, uh, Siri, cause he a pedophile. Oh man, and you know this Quaker Oats. I bet they ain't gonna take that racist ass nigga off that oatmeal. I bet you they ain't gonna change Ooh. the name of the Washington Redskins. You know the oatmeal. I bet you they man. ain't gonna do that shit. That really a make a nigga go. I Wait a minute, shit. I bet you don't know what Yankees mean. Oh yes, I do. Hmm. Yeah, right. that, but see, that's what the, that's a disrespectful <laughs> term the people in the South used to call northern white people that's they shit right but i'm talking about like the damn yankees right they need to give us if they gonna start giving us shit they need to give us real shit like we was talking about the other day low like not not even that they need to give us real power like for example right. the dudes who them bitch ass motherfuckers who killed George Floyd. Right. We need to have a setup to where when people do shit like that, the black people they we get, get handed we, over to black people. Right. We get to implement our own justice for people who do us greasy in this country. Need to be able to like, come on, come on, put That's that nigga we right get down to do. that ship. Mm -hmm. We get to implement like nigga, you we killed need George our Floyd. Own version you got to fight police. Mike Tyson for six rounds, bare bare fisted, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. That's what you got to do. You got to get in the ring with the, the That's new That's what Mike. you want? Okay, so we need like a, a squad that we can call on all these racist yeah, ass yeah. Karens. Like Big Tosh and them just pull up. Right. You got to square with Big Tosh. You Something like that. It's like a captain. You want to call the police on there. You ain't got to fight Kiki now. Right. Ooh. Or make them do some shit they ain't never did before. Like jump double dutch for 30 minutes straight. You got to get your hair braided again. real tight. You, right. That type of shit. Anything that just make it known that we tight, got the tight. power. Tight, tight. Tight, can't go to sleep. To where tight. you can't blink. You can't even smile. So tight that they end up having your shit looking like this in the front. That tight. But you go, skin you go like to court. Wrong too. Oh my hell. You go to court for calling the police on yeah. niggas. The judge <laughs> order you to wear a lace front wig for 30 days. With no glue, no. bitch. <laughs> but in we front the, of the fan. We the judges. They we need to be over the courts where these motherfuckers come after they do black people greasy. That'll make me believe that America really is giving us something. Cause you that's, gotta think. That's still ain't giving us shit cause they still got a government. No, but that's the thing. You gotta understand it's only been, if you look at the constitution, the shit that the country is ran on, what it's built upon, the 27 amendments, this, they ain't going against that. It's only three that's beneficial to black people. The 13th, the 14th, and the 15th. Those niggas didn't think about them us shit they got the 13th. they got the 13th. They was running out of shit. What else we could do? And then they say, <laughs> the to break it down, the 13th Amendment say slavery is abolished. Until you Unless go to prison. you go to jail. And then after that, they was like, well, shit, let's make the penitentiary system. And once they did that, you know what they did? They was like, who's next? Go, go, go. Niggas was going straight to jail. So it's like they don't. That's why niggas were going to the army because they felt like they were free. 14th Amendment. You can't be or not. Everybody, 14th is the, when you're born in America, you're a citizen. So that means not only is slavery abolished, when you have children, they aren't slaves. Your children are born free. If you have kids in America, your children are free. Right. Then the amendment after that means you, can, you can't be discriminated on voting because of your race. Them the only three. This was in 1865. Ever since then, they ain't did shit for niggas. But y'all know they got to vote every 25 years to let African Americans vote. So... What we changing? What we changing? I salute everybody that's out in the streets. I done did my goddamn protesting and no, I'm talking about all the way back to the Genesis. This shit ain't new. 
You know what I mean? And I I been, that's what I'm saying. I have been to every goddamn protest since that shit. Right. You dig what I'm saying? Ain't none of this new. So this shit been going on for a long time. Shit been going on back, back. And back. I think that, and this just my opinion, I think the only reason white people are so gung-ho about showing that, oh, I'm with you guys, is because the George Floyd murder was the one that they had to watch while in seclusion. They ain't never been forced to sit down and watch one like that. Because... You think about Amadou Diallo and all that motherfucker got shot you know, 40 times. This is the disturbing Talk part. Your shit, Chico. This is the you disturbing part about yeah. that yeah. shit, Chico. You dig? It's yeah. going down. Out of all that shit that happened, you heard until that nigga? this George Floyd shit happened, some white people really were totally clueless. They were like, oh they my couldn't believe fucking it. God, are they really doing y'all like this? Man, Richard Price said the same thing in the 70s. He said they put it in the newspaper and white people was like, oh, apparently they've been beating up niggas like hotcakes. <laughs> That's so crazy. ain't shit changed, man. Like, I, if we gonna get some real change implemented, man, you gotta you gotta start from the floor. We gotta get first of all, black men. We gotta squash all beefs. We right. gotta stop beefing with each other because it's too hey, easy. Hey man, to, let me light the candle for the niggas who who died in the beef. It's too it's too nigga. Um, Give me the lighter. How oh. many niggas you got that didn't die in the beef? Who you? Nigga, you almost died in the beef. You shoot shit. You dig? Yeah, yeah. Nigga, my father, uncle, cousins, friends died in the beef. How many niggas you done lost to the beef? Shit, most of them. Most of them. So if we can squat, and mind you, nigga, you ain't that mad. If you was really that mad, you would, you would, it is pre way better ways for you to handle your problem. You can square right. up with a nigga. Right. But you ain't really that mad. You really scared. That's why you busting off with your eyes closed from across the street. Paul, you ain't stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Get a pound for that one. I'ma tell you. I'ma tell you what we really need, though. No. What? Go and split the fifty states up. Then give her twenty five of them bitches. Shit. So you just said something that you just scared the shit out of white people just now. Turn yeah, this shit off. You scared me because I we thought can't, I, I we just, can't watch oh this shit anymore. Head. These guys are too they radical. This shit so <laughs> bad. These guys are fucking crazy. That went over there. That DC, yeah, he's wild for real, honey. Mm. Turn this off. We were trying to give it a shot. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't want them to do that, because then you're going to find out that this bitch really ain't what you think it is, bro. Mm -hmm. America really a trap house with some nice-ass curtains. Yeah, yeah. This a working country. Yeah, man. That's all it is. It work, 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 work. But get what? It can be functional. It's just the system that's so fucked up. You feel what I'm saying? Right. We're not, op we not operating and using and uh, utilizing every skill that we know. Nigga, I'm, you feel all we really asking for is fucking equality. We really saying to the police, hey. look, if y'all gonna be wait. killing motherfuckers, you got to kill everybody. You okay. can't just keep killing niggas. But that's they'll tell you that. But no, I'm saying you, you gotta kill. They do gotta kill. Like, what are they at? No, they don't. That's what they say? Man, they that white man, that that's white man, that white man, that white man took that gun from that girl and and chased the police. That is a fucking lie. I ain't never seen You know what else is a lie? Police got the fuck on. A lot of this shit. Right. A lot of this Most shit of is a, shit. I was gonna say one specific incident, then my mind said, Los, all of this shit is a lie, really. <laughs> yeah. This whole system is a lie. It's not a system. It's, it's made like up. it's like three old white dudes who think all this shit is hilarious. They're saying up stuff again, Jimmy. It's fucking a trick. Right. None of this shit really fucking matters. Niggas, I'm telling you. Listen, niggas. We over here complaining about 1% of the shit that's wrong with the world. But Half this, of 1%. But this is what we got to do. We got to get in office and we got to vote who we want in. But then And when it comes to law, you got to they can't do nothing without the community, bro. We can't act the like the community no has more power than though. we actually but know, bro. But that's the bro. thing. We don't you have a me? community no more. We got right. neighborhoods. We ain't Black got neighborhoods. We got neighborhoods. Our house. Neighborhoods, my nigga. Don't I, give a fuck about I, I give you a perfect example of how different America is. <laughs> I live fuck in a, man. If, you know, we all live in nice, na nice communities now. Right. You done fucked what? that street credit build up. <laughs> shit, no, no we didn't. Stay, you know we I had stay, to do to get that. Fuck that. I stay in a diverse ass. But I see, stay how, white man, it. black man, black man, China man, China man. But like you said, what did the China man and the white man have to do to get to that neighborhood? Nigga, what did you? I don't know, do? but I know you they had were to there break for the code. Long ass, hell no. Hey, this is what I noticed about my neighborhood. I love letting them know I own my shit. My whole neighborhood black, but don't nobody come outside because we don't want them to know it's a black neighborhood. See? <laughs> that makes sense. But anyway, listen. In the neighborhood I live in, the white people live across the street from me had a whole domestic dispute. The son out there fighting the father, they out there loud, drunk, banging on cars. Motherfucker! You bitch! You all that. An hour and a half. Police never came. 
No. They never came, bro. If I'd have been outside aggressively helping a the motherfucker, they would have came. That's the difference. The thing they we got to do, own. like you said, we got to get motherfuckers in office. But the way you get people in office is if you build an economy. We don't have no economy as black people. Mm -hmm. They don't care about our what we think because as soon as our money come in our community, we send it right back out. Every other community, they money bounce around three, four, five, six, seven, eight times before it leave their community. As soon yeah. as the money hit the black community, we giving it to the other man. So we got to build our own economy up. And once we build our economy, like Dr. Claude Anderson say, nigga, when you get to that next level, you can buy the politicians. You can buy them. Cause once okay. you, and if you don't got enough money to buy them, you can rent them. Because get what? You need the community to vote for you, bitch. Right. And now what? Because if you need our vote, what's happening? What you going to do for what us? What you going to do for oh, us? Oh, don't, 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 don't. Boy, don't get in there and do nothing stupid. You, the community I've been watching Scandal. I don't believe none of that voting shit. Nah, they don't I, need the community. The motherfucker will go pick who they want. I'm telling when you, have OG. you ever heard? OG, listen to him. When have you ever heard I'm a politician say they're going to do something for black people? Like, specifically for vote? black people. You know who did? <laughs> Marion Burry. That's why that nigga's the greatest politician ever. Salute to Marion Burry. And, who, and fuck you if you say he's a crackhead. He's you talking greatest, about the nigga who... He's the greatest uh, crackhead ever to me, nigga. Yeah, because he did it for black people and specifically for black people. I remember being Damn. a little boy and seeing Marion Burry say, this is for us. What I'm doing is for us. The summer job program well, is for us. Let me ask you us. this: You think it was a, he was under a lot of pressure that made him hit the crack? Because he had a lot on his shoulders, man. Because the white black, people was coming out. A whole out. black community. But if you don't, that's the thing. But crack back then was like weed, don't we? I mean, shit. You never know. <laughs> you never know. You know, they thought you were crack. And they cool, set my nigga man. up. Let's go ahead and say that they set him up. You know what I'm saying? What's the first thing he, had, he said he when said, they came in there? Bitch, set me up. <laughs> That lets you know how real of a nigga Murray and Burry was. That was the first thing first he said. Thing he said oh, this came. bitch set me up. <laughs> we was walking around with t-shirts on in the city that said, bitch set me up. Because you know they set Murray and Burry up. That nigga was, if he was on crack, he was the greatest crackhead ever. You ain't know. Hey, man, he I hit his crack, crackhead. did his speech. Hey, look, we doing this for my nigga. Hey, baby, give me that, give me that, give me that over there. And you ain't even know until they set him up. So Damn, that's the man. only politician I ever known to do something and Speaking come on TV. Speaking of politicians, that's fucked up. I gotta ask y'all about this shit. But, what? Well, you know, I don't even say his name. You know, old buddy had a rally and he thought the bitch was gonna be full, <laughs> but apparently the the tick they call it the TikTok generation, the K-pop stand. Shout out to them. Well, they've been running shit. The yeah. TikTok generation. Who's next? Go, 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 TikTok go, generation. go, the, the, the motherfuckers the, that be doing that. Who's next? Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the generation that's behind <laughs> Generation Z, the people younger than you, All right. the new young motherfucker. You lost me. Okay. Yeah, the new twenty, the the, 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 the eight, babies, the eighteen young to twenty two year old young motherfucker. So they they all went online and reserved tickets to this rally. And never showed up and made the bitch empty. So shout out to them. Whoever came up with that genius ass plan, do some more shit. We got to start supporting these goddamn, the youth, because they are geniuses. I don't right. know what these niggas so got So if you reserve the tickets, that mean, that mean you, you, you like supposed to go? Yeah. They, yeah. And oh, so free. all on this. Yeah. 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 Salute to the, to the, what you say, the TikTok generation. TikTok. Hey, don't TikTok. leave me. Don't leave me. Don't me with you. For real. Oh, this bro. shit is I crazy. Think, think oh, we got to get some international shout outs. We've been getting uh, love sent in internationally. Nigga from France hit us. It was a nigga. That lives in France. A really? French nigga. We you know what? Next I time we do a shout out, we gotta ask somebody to send a video, man. He is a French nigga. So we can put it in the clip like, yo, I love you. And he knew boy. it. He said, that's what he said to me. What I'm a it? French nigga. Niggas in Paris. Yeah. He, he was born Real in France. Real live niggas in Paris. Did you say the nigga was born in French? That what I said? I mean it. You right. <laughs> you wrong, but you right. Wrong, and the you. answer is yes. yes. For real. Born yeah. in I so would never born in France. You. He born. He born over there. Yeah. He was born in France, but it was a bunch of French motherfuckers around when he was born. So he was he born said in He said he lived a little bit outside of Paris, and there's a bunch of hoes, and he living good over there. So salute to that dude. He know who I'm talking to because he say he watch every episode. They they got to buy the odor. Yeah, that's their business though. Maybe they, in <laughs> France they don't stink. <laughs> Of all the shit we could have said, <laughs> we got to let it be though. Hey, man, y'all niggas stink like a motherfucker, but we fuck with y'all. Snigger, man. <laughs> he going to hear this shit. Like, he going to be like, you, fuck man. you. In French, though. Fuck you. Whatever that means. To be too, 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 Pussy. I just want to know. They just rude as fuck. Right, right, right. <laughs> oh, man, we got some more. My other partner hit me and said he be he was in uh, chemo before his cancer and shit. Oh. He was watching the, watching the show doing his treatments and shit. And really? now he been for, uh, four years cancer free. Boom! It's crazy. He said he started watching, he started, he came up across the show 
he was uh, getting ready for a treatment or something, and they was playing Wild and Out. And for he real? fucked with us, and then he found the show online, so he started watching it. Uh, so salute to him. He know who I'm talking to. We appreciate salute y'all. Salute to you, man. We done yeah. been, we done been a lot of, of sh- done a lot of that, like people been saying, you know, we helped them through tough times. Depression. And depression. And depression shit like that. And How many people we got myself. off medicine? This shit didn't help me? Shit. For really, nigga. Bro, we out here getting people off medicine. We about to go through it. Salute to all the people who using this show as therapy. You, you, you know, we talk a bunch of shit, but we try to Thank throw you. Thank you, Chico. 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 White people are getting over the little as shit. But a little is the little the is little shit. Little bro. Who shit. knew seeing black people happy would be so fucking just? Oh God, it's making my bro, blood how, boil. How much of a hater you got to be Man, to you, ride back, see some niggas with nothing, doing nothing, enjoying themselves, and it make you mad? You but this the, the thing, though, they, they hate to see the white bro. people mixed in with the niggas. They like why that push them to ten. Who? <laughs> you like? Look they at this motherfucker. Mad? Could you imagine the conversation they're <laughs> having, stop. honey? Do you know that these stop traffic. fucking black people are celebrating their own July 4th? They was what? Fucking July. They got their own July 4th in June. These motherfuckers fought everything. I'm telling you, they mad, bro. Man, they be swearing we won't. It like, no, we don't, bro. Y'all don't get it. This Y'all niggas just don't get part. it. They just don't fucking Shout out get it, bro. to comedian Black Run. Got one of the best Juneteenth jokes out there. Oh, yes, you do. If you haven't seen it. Go on his Instagram and check it out. My boy, it was just so dirty how white people waited 18 months to tell niggas they was free. Oh, yeah. That's niggas knew we was free. They were like, you going to tell them shit. I'm let them find yeah, out. Yeah. Hey, hey, they'll, they'll, hey they'll, they'll, <laughs> they'll figure it out. They'll figure it out. Hey, man. They can figure it out. What? what, 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 what how many years it was? Shit, 18 months before they told the people that, what was it, Texas? Yeah. A year and a half. In Texas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So It took yeah. one nigga who knew how to read. Because you imagine a nigga that, it, that, that, <laughs> The first, like, the first nigga? nigga that seen him still being slaves when he came <laughs> no, out. When he realized he was free. He was telling everybody, didn't nobody believe but him. But the nigga. nigga that, it was a nigga that came down there first that was free. He probably was coming down there to fuck with a bitch or something. And came down there and was like, hey man, what? I mean, what the fuck is y'all niggas doing, man? Hey man, you better shut your mouth. Boy, masters right there. Ain't but no look, masters, nigga. We free. But look at how the white people shut are up. looking. Shut shut up. Up. Shut. Ain't no God, ain't no freedom. I'm telling you. We's free. Hush that crazy been, talk. Been free since <laughs> about 1865. Yeah, I got a whole whooping out here. <laughs> Ain't yeah, nobody yeah, free. Damn. You take that. You take that bullshit back where you got it from. Ain't nobody afraid no more. Stop talking loud. I got to work in the morning. Fuck your master. <laughs> I advise both of y'all. Shit, shit the fuck up. <laughs> You better lay down. We got to go to work in the morning. Watch this. Watch this. I pull my dick out in the field. I don't give a fuck. We free. You better not. I better. Them white folks should kill you dead. They ain't going to do shit to me. They'll kill you dead. They ain't going to do They're hanging. They ain't going to show enough hanging. Shut it up. Shit, nigga, you see this? He you is think, free. You think master would have let me do this? I did this on my own. <laughs> you is free. You see it? You is free. Where you, you from? You is free. Where you from, brother? America. Where you- America. Well, what is it like to be a free man and let your hair do it like that? You want to touch it? No. Yeah. Don't. Look like a gingerbread. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, that's what I'm saying. Niggas don't know what we done went through out here, man. These motherfuckers acting like it's easy to be black. We under constant pressure. But what about the white people who
Hey, niggas knew something was up, but did nobody get no whooping. White people tried to act like they had changed and found Jesus. Well, you know, we really just had a change of heart, and we really want to be more inclusive. Damn, right bro, here. you just hit it on the head. Yes, he well, you know, they yeah, was nice. Yes, did. Was, <laughs> well, they were bringing breakfast to the field and everything. <laughs> guys, come over. Sausage and biscuits. <laughs> they were made in the house, too, guys. <laughs> come on. terribly hot out here. Your mom made them. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> probably went out with the whip. Hey guys, everybody, everybody here, focus here. That's you see hilarious. this? You see this? It's over. Guys, never gonna use it again. Guys, I'm never gonna hit you again because I want you to be able to express yourself so we can communicate better and get this cotton out of here. <laughs> I couldn't be no manager. Slave, bro. Nigga went from the master to the be, manager. But he was still here. heartless than a motherfucker. You guys want some lemonade? Well, fucking make some, niggas, and get back to work. <laughs> This shit crazy, man. Mind you, this shit ain't changed. 1865 and niggas still digging with the boy. <laughs> hey, All right, the but boy. Like, let me holler at you right quick. Yeah. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. Ain't nobody gonna tell. Man, I'd have been you hyping know. you up to ah. kill him. Kill him. Get him. Dad at his wife. Bad bitch, come here. For real, bro. You this bet. shit here. You know how many chances niggas had to kill Master and didn't? This is a nigga out there chopping wood all day. Everybody just watching this had nigga. Had a good time. Hey, he gonna do it today. Uh -huh. Look at that nigga. That nigga tired. His arms is burning. I, that's the best action nigga we got. Please hit Master with that motherfucker. It's, it's just us and him. Man, you They see, keep looking at him too <laughs> like that. They used to be <laughs> on the. <laughs> keep getting him the side. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah. Hit that nigga. Hit. hit. Damn! I told you he's gonna be scared. Get hey, hey, hey. He, he the only one that can get you. He sound like an Indian. Hey, hey, hey. That's where we came way. from. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, we had there. nigga, we were three people out there. Hey, hell, 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 yeah. We know who we were, nigga. Yeah. Hey, there's a nigga talking so much shit in the field. They would what? never give a nigga like me that ax. I put that motherfucker right, right. there on that nigga. Top, <laughs> top, As Soon slow. as it's his time, he don't do shit. He swear. <laughs> Motherfuckers used to be out there shaving. Master's face and shit, nigga, with what? a razor. What? Nigga, you could have hit him with the goddamn Bumpy Johnson if it was See, but you know what it was? Nigga was so scared because we would turn on. We didn't know that we had that power in there. You feel what I'm saying? So once we see another nigga do it, nigga, we look at him as like, why would you do such a thing? And, you and, know and they gonna kill us the all. Fucked up party is it's still <laughs> going. That's still going on today. Hey, right? bro, hold look on. at the coons. Hold on, nigga. It was a cool. nigga that Big actually ass. used to tuck Massa in the bed. Oh. Could some cake that nigga? <laughs> yeah, go to sleep now. Play with God, play with God, you bitch ass nigga. Catch mm, mm, mm. oh. these slay knees, bitch. You got me fucked Oh, fun. shit. <laughs> nigga, what? that shit hilarious. Niggas had so many chances to ass. kill Massa. Yeah. Uh, a whole bunch. Ooh. What about in the kitchen? You got, boy, you got the water. There's so much glass in that spaghetti. <laughs> Man, what? Why is it so crunchy? Yeah, it's a new uh, tradition. Yeah. We got oh. <laughs> oh, Master would have had pants Extra all flavor. every goddamn boy, thing. I'm poisoning that nigga first chance I get. That's why Man, you can't what? sit on niggas from now back there, boy. It'll be <laughs> over. Niggas from that way, they just gonna be slick with it, nigga. Nigga would have did Master Dirty, rode the town on his horse, nigga. I'm just gonna say, get on that nigga horse, I'm hauling that. I'm going to the store using all that nigga credit. Going crazy. Man. He, no, they, had, they had patches of coins back then. You had them little shit. I'm gonna watch Jango when I get to the crib. Shillings? Shillings, nigga. What, what them little shits in? Like, nigga, I don't know what you hold. It's nigga. a pouch, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna steal his pouch, nigga? <laughs> It's still his pouch full. He got coins. He, he got all. He got, he got all the gold in that motherfucker. Confederate money. Man, right. I'm finna buy. I'm finna spend all that shit. You know some niggas had some Confederate money. They, they been knocking all down all the statues. Good. Too. They been knocking down all the Bruh, statues. Which one? This the last. What's the last one? They just knocked down with the two slaves on the side of it. Uh, mm -hmm. Roosevelt. Roosevelt. You yeah. Nigga, they they made slave statues. Yeah. yeah. Boy said he gonna give you ten years for fucking with them statues. You heard what he said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that you heard it. that. You heard what he said. Ooh, ooh. He said, "Attack the motherfucker down." Because the reality to. is, that's what this country was built on. Right. Nigga, that's this what it is. This the funniest part about this shit, though. You talking about? Fuck that. This is really just like white lawyers and shit in these parks doing this shit. They know the law. These you've seen the motherfucking movement. 
This whole movement about uh, has been hijacked by white people who don't give a fuck. Right. Mm -hmm. Dude, I'll go to jail for you guys. I'm so down. They, they don't give a fuck. They don't know what's going on. Go ahead. Go ahead. And, yeah. then, and then it's fucked up the way the, the, way the <laughs> system works in America because if this shit keep going on too, I, that's why they keep giving mm -hmm. niggas shit. Eventually, we going to be the oppressor. They how you feel the about, narrative. How like, you feel oh, about the black the, um, people are just... They already been... They, you they see been, the they, white they, lady? Oh, stop! They been you're, they, they, you're about to take me! First of all, this was a gay black man who followed this white woman because she flipped him off and called him a nigga. Right. Mm -hmm. And then she was like, oh, you're about to take me, man. I seen that today. That bitch was crazy. He wasn't going to take you anywhere. Nigga had to go all the way across the street just to <laughs> he show. Had, like, he had no desire to take bitch. you anywhere, ma'am. You was not on his list to take. He did not want shit you had. He just wanted to address why you was disrespectful. And you just, oh, God. But that's oh, that God. that's that 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 uh that that power that they feel like they got over entitlement. You, you what that's I'm what saying? it is. That they entitlement. Want white women that every nigga wanted to fuck them. Them? Cause that's Don't a fantasy that they be having. Nobody want that pale ass shit. That's why my man on the news is like, Black Lives Matter and white women don't have any ass. It's like, yeah. man. And that's a true fact. <laughs> That's Why true women get relaxed? Ain't nobody trying to fuck y'all. Yeah, right. You might want that chicken. Saggy. What the fuck are you talking about? Sad. I'm talking about I'm good, uncooked. bro. Uncooked. Nobody want that chicken. Salt and pepper? That's it? You ain't got no motherfucking nothing around this? You ain't got no Lowry's in this bitch? Bitch, no, you can't even be outside all day. Hell no. Nah. Why you gotta go to the house? Why? Except bitch. for the white women that got that bob skin haircut. We know y'all down. Salute to y'all. They can really relax. <laughs> ain't, ain't, the nobody, ain't nobody really stressing over that. Nope. Not at I all. I mean, it's a handful of niggas, but they, they, they don't even count. Yeah, they're, 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 they're not niggas. It's, skin it's some black, they fuck with black dudes. Those Negroes. Black dudes. Yeah, those are Negroes. They done went to the car three times. <laughs> <coughs> hey, man. <laughs> they can really relax, the white ladies. They ain't nobody stressing about y'all. We got stadium. women out here, black women, that's built like Meg the Stallion. You Juicy. think somebody give a fuck about your little bone ass? You yeah. got Maddie style and you got Miley style. <laughs> mm, that's a hell of a comparison right there. Now, Meg the and style, I'm with Miley she style. Get the, she ain't gonna get the credit she Who? deserved right now, Who? but she is a whole game changer. Who? Meg the style. Hey, yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? Over here chilling in the studio doing 85 South Show. your man, Carlos Miller. When I'm in the studio late night and recording and I need food right now, you know what I do? I go to the DoorDash app, use my own code, 85 South, get $5 off my delivery. You can do the same thing right now. Go door, download the DoorDash app off the App Store. Use the code 85 South Show, get $5 off your first order of $15 or more. We all use DoorDash over here at the 85 South Show. You can pick from your favorite local restaurants, your national restaurants. They will get it to your door safely. Contactless delivery. You don't have to worry about anything. They're trying to keep the neighborhood safe. Make sure you go download that app and get you some food brought to the crib right now. We're chilling. Y'all want to hit the DoorDash? Anybody? I'm about to hit something now. DoorDash is the app that brings you food that you're craving right now, right to your door. Ordering is easy. Open the DoorDash app and choose what you want to eat, and your food will be safely outside your door with new contactless delivery drop-off setting. There's something for everyone on DoorDash. There are thousands of restaurants open for delivery on DoorDash that need your patronage now more than ever. Support your favorite restaurants on DoorDash. You've counted on restaurants, now they're counting on you. And while their dining rooms are closed, they're still open for delivery with DoorDash. When you go download the DoorDash app, make sure you use our code so you can get $5 off your first order of $15 or more. The code is 85SOUTH. Look, the code is 85SOUTH. Use it, love it, make sure you use DoorDash. We out of here. Let's get something to eat. Come on. That's a real woman. Bro, that motherfucker fine in the morning. That'd be fine. I'm talking about when she, well, you can wake Hood up fine. Hood red fine, yeah, she just want to. Big fine. She just want to twerk. You be like, look, girl. Big yeah. fine, too. Stop twerking. I'm talking about big fine. She's the, some, you, who? That's a real woman. Yeah, real. boy, big fine. I couldn't fuck with her, though. Why? Because she could fit my shoes. <laughs> that hurt somebody. <laughs> Whoever said, uh. That she wear a tear, bro. Ah, she wear a tear. Let me. They grow me. She don't want to do it now. I don't give a fuck. You put my shoes on, 11, we going to the ball. Fuck that. We going to the she court. She wear 11? She probably wear about a 12 in women. She wear 11? 
Boy, them heels. Ooh, damn. I don't know exactly what's that, but she got it some ain't, It ain't no little foot. <laughs> God I saw damn. her at the airport. She had on some Gucci sandals. Uh-huh. Man, them goddamn sandals. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, <laughs> find it. And it was in the morning, too. I was like, God damn, you got no Asiana, Right. That's why we love black women damn. and white women, because if Meg Thee Stallion was here, she'd just start talking shit about us. You would start crying. Why are you talking about my feet? Stop. Well, I love Meg Thee Stallion. You're talking about my feet. What is wrong with my feet? My are you going to take me? Stop. You're going to take me. I love Meg Thee Stallion. Home. It's a lot of the motherfuckers I love. Mm-hmm. You know who I like? Oh. Who you love, though? Who I love? Yeah, who you love? Neil Long. Stop Ooh, playing. Yeah, that's a classic right there. Don't talk about. Mm, don't talk about. Black woman. Yeah, that's, a, that's a classic. You know, you know who I love in that class? Who? Sana Lake. Ooh. She real original. Yeah, that good. She real. Uh, yeah, yeah. Good black woman right there, man. Mm-hmm. Real original. But she you can know make who, a pound um, cake from scratch. You know, you know, you know, you know who good. Yeah. You know who good, but she got like. When she do like this, it like it's a little, it's a little musk. Who, Taraji? Uh uh-uh. uh. Who? The girl, the lady out. Uh, <laughs> Stella, uh, Stella got her groove back. Angela Bass. Angela Bass. Yeah, oh, Angela yeah. Bass. She oh, Angela, that but that was just because she did what's love got to do with it. She was cut up like. Oh, yeah, you talking she, about grown women? Yeah, yeah you, know, right. you know who don't never get like, the big guy, the credit big, uh, they need. Punch your ass. Oh. He's like, hold up. <laughs> Viola Davis. Viola Davis. Yeah, Viola Davis, classic black woman. What's what's the lady that, name from that, uh that, from, from uh from from uh way next hill the one that was walking across the street I I want to Loretta Divine looking. Loretta Divine Ooh, I'm gonna tell you who 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 was five five Who Hold up Hold up Why you thinking uh, I got Oh I think I had a bird uh, Excuse me Nigga uh, Vip Oh first one of the The skinny second. one First one When she did this Yeah Uh Uh I was Uh like, Ooh. Yes Classic. That yeah. motherfucker got a monster, you hear me? That put so fat guy. Speaking of legends. I said, boy, woo! It was a, le- <laughs> a legend <laughs> hit me on the, on the social media the other Ooh, day. Just the other day. Who? Pam Grill. Pam Grill? She hit me. Woo! Pam Grill. We, she, she was on there. She hit you when she was like? I was giving her some love and she liked it. Oh, that oh, was love. Oh, God. That was love. Hey, man, you know what? I said, else, don't nobody say shit to me. You know who else bad? They're on from good times, nigga. Today. Today. Right Today. now. I'm gonna oh, tell you who fine as hell. Who? Chili. Chili. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you who, who, who. Look, I gotta sit like this right. in this conversation. Who? Who right? Y'all will look at me crazy. Right. I seen the other day. Oh, oh. In some workout clothes. Come on. The break. Stop playing. Ah. Stop playing. Hey, look, the brat been fat. Oh, that rhyme right there. The brat, no disrespect the brat, hey. but you bet. When you did that, whatever Man, that video fat. you did with Lil Kim and them, got the this is late <laughs> night. When you had the bikini, remember you had that earl where you was like, fuck it, I'm gonna show how fat my ass is. That earl was Listen, cold. That motherfucker sit up, OG. She oh, was running. My that bitch was like, eh, eh. Big what? booty. Damn. Big one. Big booty, man. Damn. Classic oh, black women, crazy. man. Salute to all the black women, man. <laughs> Salute to Angela Davis, We ain't too, even man. gonna get a chance to Salute say to all our favorites. I know, it's just, but, We're you gonna know, start think- we I'm love Jada y'all. Pinkett? Jada Come Pinkett, on. classic. Classic. Low down, dirty shade. Oh, my goodness. That little finger way out. I see what you're doing. That Ooh. motherfucker shining in the motherfucker. What? Yes, sir. Tony Braxton. Halle Berry. Halle Berry. Halle Berry was all the time. That's- Halle Berry was just, that was, that was, that was Halle. That was the first kind of like Philippine type look type. Look, I ain't gonna go through the whole list, but all the women who can rap, all of them. Foxy Brown. I'll just give what? I'm, just cause they can rap. What about the one with the red, red hair? What about the light skinned girl with the red hair? Charlie Baltimore. Charlie Baltimore. That's how Baltimore. fine they are. You'll never Ooh. forget them. Yeah, Charlie Baltimore. Who was Charlie the other Baltimore one that was signed to us? The crazy part is she ain't even that fine. Ooh. She wasn't that fine. She was just like pretty and slim. Right. That's and you could just tell she was that's super fine. fine. That hood fine. Yeah, you, you know can tell she was witty because she was the first motherfucker with red hair. With that like, red Damn. hair. A shanti. Salute to Ashanti. Ashanti fine now. Oh She's so thick on the left side. I like that. That's, that's my favorite side of her. You didn't. T- you so bad at Shanti, nigga, and split you down the middle. Yeah. But they used to exactly always try to talk about her sideburns. I used to be like, bro, why are y'all looking at that? Her sideburns got an Instagram page. For real. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Y'all niggas play too much, man. 
See, it be the dick. I be knowing the weird shit that I say. It's like a fucked up person. <laughs> Oh. Oh, hey, this is the craziest what Instagram page I have seen though. Have you seen the thick Beyonce page? No. Thick Where Beyonce. they take all Beyonce pictures and they make her a BBW. Thicker. Word, nigga. And the it's, fucked up part is. She still looks good. She's still fine. Still fine. It's you called thick, from it's called thick Beyonce. Huh? Beyonce from Fine Temptation. I'm talking about Beyonce Jay Z White. I know, I'm saying. <laughs> but you taking it in the in the I'm taking her in, in what range you taking her from. Like, a Beyonce would do some I'm going to tell you when she was the finest to me. Mm. When she was on the beach singing Drunk in Love and she was really drunk. Mm. Mm, that's a that's a, that's a a category right when there. She and kicked, what when she did the stripper walk. Was Beyonce mm. the finest to you? To me? Crazy was that love. drunk? Crazy, that drunk crazy, crazy in love. love. She went crazy. First time I ever seen Beyonce on the on the floor. Like, oh, yeah. on all four, I was like, oh, Beyonce, yeah. Yeah, to me, <laughs> she twerking. Oh, 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 that video? That's your favorite Beyonce? Oh, nigga. If you like it, then you could have been in the ring on it. Huh, she was shaking and shit? Well, she was goddamn, I'm like, man, she moved like she got a battery in her. <laughs> Beyonce mama fine. Yeah, she is. <laughs> she look like Tina Turner. Nah, she look like, nah, she don't look like Tina Turner. They, a lot of niggas ain't gonna say this, Salute but Tina Solange, Turner. Solange fine. Too. Oh yeah, she, she is. She fine enough hard. to turn a nigga to a vegan. I don't know. You man. know who I, you know, you know who I like we leaving out? Heck of, I don't we like leaving out one of the trip. greatest of all time, who? man. Erica Badu. <clears throat> she, cause that's a whole episode. Oh my God. We need Erica on these I feel like if you fuck with her, you go, you're gonna get your soul right and get into heaven. Right. Whatever your, your thoughts of heaven is, you gonna make it, cause she gonna get your, your soul right. Hey, Erica Badu I, must, I Erica. think Erica Badu, you know scared. that fist, the black fist? Erica, Erica got this that, right that here, real cool girl. This I'm right scared. here, this fist, that's what Erica got in her pussy. As soon as you put your dick in, that fist, got him, nigga. He's like, oh, I'm getting some yawn pants. Oh. I'm scared. I feel like you got to do cocaine <laughs> before <laughs> Erica. <laughs> nah, nah. Eat that right there. She ain't huh? going to fuck with you on the coke. Nah, she ain't going to fuck with no dick. Nigga, when, when Erica came and did Wildin' Out, nigga, she was smoking an incense. Yeah. I didn't even know you could smoke incense, nigga. Bruh, she was hitting that motherfucker. If you ever get some Erica Badu coochie, you can hear your nigga, ancestors. Nigga, you sung with Erica Badu. Nigga. Humming behind no. you. Bro, you a legend. I feel like I we was all high. Did. We was That's all That's what I'm there. trying to tell you. Bro. It's some... Listen. You got to sing with Erica, my nigga. Erica, what have you doing crazy things? <laughs> I love Erica. Listen, that, she had Audrey 3000 in that, that fur uh, pamper. Right. She got, <laughs> she got Andre. A uh, common would start wearing the yarn pants, nigga. Right. That nigga wore a wool hat in the summer. That's how I knew that pussy was. Woo! I know she fine. Mm. I know. I told you, if you, you ever I get took a selfie that, with her and felt like I was with her for like five years. Right. If you ever hit that, you could hear your ancestors just humming behind you. They gonna be clapping. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> he heard that shit. Look, he back in the trance. <laughs> You can call me right now and talk about pack your bags. I'm like, where we going? You know who else? Gina from Martin, man. Gina, just thank you oh, for thank you for for just being that. Don't woman slip up that, on Pam. Oh, now. Pam too. I was about to get to Pam because Pam was Don't bad. Don't slip as up on Pam now. But just y'all two in general, general for what y'all did for young black men. We were sitting in the in the living room just watching you just be beautiful. I'm gonna tell you when she was the finest. When? When she was on school days and she licked that nigga part. Oh. Because you can't pretend to do that. That's a good point. What the fuck? Cause she had a sex scene in the Spike Lee movie. Like Ooh. she ain't had no nudity, but she was in Gina from Martin uh -huh. on school days. You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. She licked the nigga part. What in was the, the nigga name? Head. <laughs> uh, Big brother Dean Big Almighty. Brother, <laughs> Big brother Dean Almighty. Yeah, yeah. licked this shit down the middle. Yeah, man. You can't you can't pretend to do that. You have to actually do that. If learning a new language is on your to-do list, Babbel makes it fun and easy to start having conversations in Espanol or whatever your preferred language. Es usted la nueva vecina. Look, Babbel is designed to get you speaking your new language quickly with daily 10 to 15 minute lessons. Es usted la nueva vecina. Es usted la nueva vecina. Bienvenida. Bienvenida. Yo soy la nova vecina. Babbel teaches you real dialogue. You're not just learning words and phrases out of context. Es usted la nova vecina. 
Si. Yo soy la nova vacina. The speech recognition technology helps you improve your pronunciation and your accent. Babbel is available as an app or online, so your progress will be synced on all your devices. Le bi. Nespa. Bonjour, Paris. La bi Nespa. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, German, and a host of others. Le bi ve. Nespa. Right now, Babbel is offering our listeners three months free with the purchase of a three-month subscription with the promo code 85SOUTH. Go to Babbel.com, use promo code 85SOUTH on your three-month subscription. That's Babbel, B-A-B-B-E-L.com, promo code 85SOUTH. Man, just to salute to all the beautiful black women. We love y'all, man. Hey, you over here, we man. love y'all and support y'all. Hey, you know one we got to give some love to because I don't feel like she never <laughs> you, like, you, you, you hear what he over here playing? Yeah. Is that part to be Harry Winslow. <laughs> Harriet Winslow. Harriet Winslow. Ha! Ha! Salute to Harriet. <laughs> Harriet Winslow, man. She don't I get enough love. Hell Florida no. Evans. Oh, no. <laughs> Florida. James a low down nigga for fucking on Florida, man. I know you would fuck with me if you were still here. You seen this Florida. You'd be like, oh, you remind me of my old nigga. Hey, boy. <laughs> hey, boy. You need a place to stay for me in Florida, boy. <laughs> 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 nigga be like, hey, yeah, that's my old lady right hey, here. Can you imagine you nigga, fucking with Florida and then with Lona fine ass coming over there every day? Oh. I would have left Florida for Walona so goddamn fast. Y'all niggas ain't shit, man. Hey, man. I got a family down the hall. <laughs> You know how you gotta introduce Florida How my to kids your doing with Lona? You should cool Florida. Hey man, y'all playing Florida probably got the best pussy in the whole projects. I never know. <laughs> in the That's whole why she pro- sound like they that. They stay James. in the Capriti Green project. She had the best pussy in the project. Nigga James was over that motherfucker every day <laughs> like this. That why he was so angry. He can't get home. <laughs> motherfucker had me late. Come home from work, huh? <laughs> Know what try, I need. You know what I need. You know what I need for real. Now listen here, Jay. The one thing good I can say Yay. about Florida is, is she don't look like her body soft. It looked like she was a little round body, but she like she was firm. You know what she was shaped like? Florida <laughs> Evan was shaped like you know that little thing that you hit and it bounced right back to you. Wibble <laughs> 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 wobble. <laughs> when it hit the ground, it <laughs> <come back. laughs> that bounce back. <laughs> yeah. Florida Damn. probably had that monster. Salute to all the ladies out there that got that probably Florida. Probably had that monster in the project. Let me say this, though. <laughs> we got to give a shout out to all, all the ladies. Kid. To all the ladies who like niggas who bad built, too. They be looking over all that goddamn flow. See how quiet it got? Don't nobody want to own that shit. Yo, shit. Nigga, that's the thing about being a nigga, though. You got you to gotta have something. You, if you got confidence and you can make a woman <laughs> laugh and all that, she'll get past you. Built like you seen Buddy was well he ain't black, but Buddy with the the, the neck, the big neck bound. This is exactly what I be trying to get niggas to understand. Whatever the fuck wrong with you, somebody still gonna like that shit. You just gotta play to your fucking art. Even if your neck fucked up. You think the bitch he fucking with was like, it's something about them niggas with them neck. Right. <laughs> she freaking in <laughs> here. Right. Y'all want not at ABS? That's that's what that it is. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Cool. I mean, but that that's nigga the thing, funny. Yeah. We always give y'all that advice, man. Build your confidence up in yourself, man. Learn to love what it is that you got. And don't be trying to be no other nigga. Cause if you try to trigger a woman, yeah. she gonna go find a nigga you pretending to be at some point. Oh my god. Yeah, funny. Nigga, you gotta get insurance to fuck with. You just said some cold shit. You know what I mean? gonna go find the nigga you pretending to be. So be who you are, and then you'll find the women that really fuck with you because if you out here pretending to be another nigga eventually your bitch gonna run into the nigga that you pretending to be right and it's over for you talk your shit you dig and she gonna get fucked <laughs> see you see so all of them, that you, shit if, hurt if so you when you pre- thinking like i wonder did they fuck yes nigga <laughs> it do you hurt your bitch like that <laughs> you are nigga you got to think like that it do hurt that shit hurt and don't think it can't happen to you because it can it can and she calling them daddy bro she mm. is. Just chill, she bro. Liked the nigga. Don't call a nigga phone on the But one head. thing about a woman, though, she ain't never gonna run out of pussy. It'll get dry. Oh. She will never run out of pussy. I don't know. 
Yeah, it's like a trash bag. It's like a trash bag. When you bought it, when you bought it, and you. I don't know take about it. that one, Lois. Uh, it's some pussies that didn't hit their goddamn. Hey, the, 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 yeah. yeah, the lifetime warranty didn't expired on them motherfuckers. Me, 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 me. The receipt. You done lost the, Some of them women that lost the receipt on that pussy. Me, me. You can't. T- it's over with. Can't Go take back. That one yeah, back. it's over with. You can't ain't gonna take that one. Take that pussy back. Go back in fucking thirty days. Can't find that authenticity stamp. Pussy don't last but thirty days. That thing. What? Pussy really twenty eight. Say pussy on what? Pussy don't even last but twenty eight days. They get a new one every twenty eight. Every twenty eight days. Every twenty eight days. Every twenty. It's a, it's called a cycle for a reason. The pussy that she had on the sixteenth, if not, is not the pussy on the seventeenth. Nah. That pussy reset every night. Nah, see that's that's what you call a flush. You just <clears throat> that pussy fart really. It's like a it's like a doggy bag. That's pussy it. update like it's, an it's iPhone. This little doggy bag. It'll update like an iPhone. Mm-mm. But, but, but you think software. about it, once yeah, it update, the old phone do get slow yeah, now. Yeah, if you use an if iPhone. You, that bitch might be on iPhone 5C pussy. Some of them pussies is jailbroke. <laughs> you can't even take that back to the Apple store. They're going to be like, man, we can't do nothing with that. You got the yeah, screen replaced got in the mall. Screen on. <laughs> <laughs> you got the screen replaced on this pussy in the mall. We can tell. Nah. You ever fucked a, a chick and her pussy wasn't good? The first time, but you kept fucking on it, and you was like, this ain't, this ain't bad. I mean, because pussy is a gift. Yeah. It warms up a little bit. Sometimes I got to crank up. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't the same. It's a gift. You know it's you know a what what gift. It must be given to you. If we, it's levels. Of, it depends on what kind of pussy she giving right. you, too, now. Some of that right. pussy is like, when she give you the pussy pussy, that's the shit that make you be like, all right, right. I'm over there. Everybody but get she right could just time. be giving you some social pussy, like, this is my party pussy. Like, it ain't much. Just, I ain't even, come on. Yuck. Who, ain't nobody with you, is it? Cool. Right. Yeah, sometimes. You ever, got, you ever got some sympathy pussy? Yeah, that's, I would love it. But I hate how the, how you have to get it. Right. It'd be a real tragedy. It'd be a real tragedy like, to get yeah. the sympathy pussy. Hey, well, I be dealing with some real bitches. They don't give a fuck what I'm going through. <laughs> I tell a bitch, yeah, man, you know, this shit happened. They like, yeah, man, shit. <laughs> you got some weed. I'm like, God <laughs> damn, bitch. You don't give a fuck about it. <laughs> Y'all want to smoke, you be sitting bitch. there sad as a motherfucker. She ragging. It's bitch, fucked up. Your grandma smoke. died. My grandma <laughs> did too. Suck my titty. Right. <laughs> I be fucking with need nothing out. Stop it. Y'all just want to smoke. This nigga said, yeah, I'm going through this shit. Damn, you got some weed? That's <laughs> fucked up, bro. That's- bitch, y'all want to smoke, man. Selfie. That's it. Hey, but that's crazy. Shit. Real talk. <laughs> I left that big house. I said, man, I'm gonna ride. Nigga, at this point, if 2020 was a movie, what would it be, nigga? <laughs> if 2020 was a movie? Right now, if it was a movie, what movie would it be? Total Recall. <laughs> Hold up. Go back to 2019. <laughs> this is definitely Total Recall, bro. Total Recall? Yeah, you need a different skill set to survive out this bitch. Oh yeah, that's a good mm-hmm. one right there. Total Recall. God damn, I'm in between 2012 and goddamn color purple, nigga. Like this, <laughs> this shit color purple out this here. Shit this shit really feel like fighting temptation a little bit. Close. It remind me of Jumanji though, cause every day it be some new shit. Really? Right. Every corner is the motherfucking somebody right. rolled Not the real. dice. Right. This shit crazy, bro. You never thought you would see no shit like this in real life. Like right. my nigga, in real life, motherfucker real is shit fighting down. over wearing masks. A real shit now, bro. A white woman burned down a Wendy's because a black man got killed. They Write that, that down on some paper. They and just see how they read. That yeah, shit. they don't even read right. No, they caught that bitch. They yeah, did. they caught her. They did. Take care of that bitch. Man, ass. this shit is the crazy. This is the. You want to, let, me, let me go through some more news so you can see how crazy the world is, nigga. Talk your shit. Porn star Run Jeremy charged with three counts of rape. What? How? When you getting paid the foothold. Wait a minute. Wait oh. a minute. This nigga I, been I mean, no disrespect. Pussy for, he been how? getting paid the fuck for at least. 30 years. 30? You getting at 40, least, at least of it. 40, 40 years. years. 40 the, years. The rush, the rush, it's the rush. The and you know what's crazy? Nigga had to find another rush. This Just, nigga trip. They going those gonna go. Because it's actually a clip of him just being in scenes that he ain't supposed to be in. Doing what? Fucking. Like if they shooting a porno, this nigga just Come on jump in. in and start fucking. 
Oh no, nah. nah. see I don't I ain't if I'm the other nigga, I'm not Hey Mark Cut! Hey bro, what the fuck, bro? Oh, he waited till the other dude finished. That's what I'm saying. He was, oh, wow. Yeah. Damn. And they got and you mean to tell me you don't think some pussies? I don't uh, know if that has. I don't, don't know. Oh, 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 I don't want you to think this has anything to do with this. But I, I, I saw that somebody made a and they like they tried to link the two to get. But it ain't. I don't think it's that. Oh, it's you that actually control. seen that shit? Right. Oh, 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 oh my God. on the internet. Hey, you got no looking at me. Man, I got 2020, some, nigga. Bro, do you know the type of shit Run that people send me? Your ass go back to work. What? Do you know the type of shit people send me? <laughs> your, ass, your ass is a, a porn investigator, bro. <laughs> nigga, break it down. Clip. I, think, Wait, I don't think that Wait, one is what this one is. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You about to go down you for some shit. CSI music. <laughs> Boom. Hold on. This nigga ain't up. Uh, hold on. Let me look at Wait the Wait a paper. minute. Y'all not about to put this on me. People send me shit. Look at just like the shit that went viral. The lady who had her titties. She had a breast reduction. They had the titties on the table. I was like, whoa, what? Why are you sending me this oh. shit? Oh, man. I had to make sure my news was accurate. Oh, my God. That nigga loves it. We're going to go back on the road. They're going to be like, detective. Hold on. Well, why he, well, I don't know how this go, but some this is what it says for the Ron Jeremy <laughs> shit. It was at one lady house and three at the bar. Man, three at, at the, the bar. At the bar. So hold he on, raping women in public. That's what it's. What you think rapists rape it? I mean, but in the bar, not around other people. Rapists rape anywhere. Oh my god. That's why they rape. What's up, food? Oh shit, cat. What's up, nigga? We talking about porn. This nigga, this nigga walked in. Oh. Perfect nigga. Oh. Right there. <laughs> ah. Ah, oh, that's the guard right there. That's who sent them them clips. Hey, Lowe's, I was downstairs in the back cave. You realize Ron Jeremy is just popping up what? in a lot of these scenes? 85 South Show. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah, man. But you get paid to fuck whole, bro. I don't understand. Hey, that shit don't make You'll no never shit. understand this shit. It's a lot of... It's a lot of whole whole that's lot of crazy. sexual violence going on, and people be asking, sending me requests. Man, I, I don't I know what to say about that shit. Cause I you tell the truth. I despise any motherfucker that takes some pussy, man. Use a right a scoundrel, nigga. Use a dirty motherfucker. Protect you black women. You a lame? Yeah, you're, you're a bitch you a lame ass, ass nigga. nigga you, ain't, man. you ain't really supposed to be here. Pussy ass nigga. Use a I'm, bitch. I'm just we need to that. get rid of niggas like that, man. You niggas is in the way. Cause first of all. You, you, you're having our women walk around and, you know in what I'm saying? Fear. In, in fear, bro. You feel me? They should walk around choosing who they want to like. That shit you. not cool, man. I'm like, hey, I mean, disrespectful and grabbing on these women and shit like that. that. You sure? Woman scared to turn a nigga down. Scared to turn you down. Nigga, fuck you then, bitch. You ain't, you ain't pretty then, bitch. Fuck you. All that shit ain't necessary, my nigga. Right. Like who like you. Cause niggas don't, don't get, like you, niggas don't, don't get no pussy, bro. Right. They of, don't, But bruh. you know why? Because a lot of niggas get pussy that they, that they don't deserve. And they move forward thinking that they deserve that pussy that they got and get that energy of a nigga who deserved it. You understand? See, ladies, that's what you got to understand. a philosopher, man. You got to stop giving out pussy to niggas who don't deserve it. Because you're giving these niggas a, a, a level of confidence that is causing them to walk around thinking that they not, thinking that they are what they not. Stop giving niggas pussy, babe. <laughs> And bring that thing to me. <laughs> don't get that nigga, no pussy, baby. Like he don't hook. deserve. Just give it to us three. He don't deserve. Don't get that nigga, no pussy. He don't deserve. Oh, no pussy. He don't deserve. Don't get that nigga, no pussy. He don't deserve. Just bring it up to me. <laughs> bring that pussy to me. Uh-oh, okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. One more time. Yeah, like, yeah, I like that. <laughs> okay. Bring that pussy to me. Hey. Uh. Bring that pussy to me. Bring it to me. Bring that pussy oh, to me. Bring that pussy to me. Bring that pussy to me. Bring it to me. Bring it to me. Bring that pussy to me. <laughs> bring it to me, bring that pussy bring to me. Bring that pussy to me. Bring it to JoJo, bring it to Casey. <laughs> <laughs> bring that pussy to me. It's gonna be a little bit. But on some real shit though, man, if you see your partners out here tripping and slipping, man, say something, man. You hey, gotta make sure talk. you protect these black women, man. Your partner if you don't some, say that's somebody's sister, that's somebody's auntie, that's somebody's loved ones, man. We gotta protect all of our women, man. Please believe Especially it. the black women, man. They are the nature. 
and the nurturers of the earth, man. Without them, we wouldn't be here. How many of y'all motherfuckers out there was raised by a black woman? You was born no by help? a black woman, you, you bitch, nigga. And the world and all life on the planet come from a black woman. So, nigga. Bring that pussy to me. While we speaking on the subject, man, us as black men, we taking accountability, responsibility in our community to try to correct some right, you know, correct yep. some wrongs. Yes, sir. And make some of this shit right, man. Mm -hmm. Do you mind if we use our platform as black men, you know, to speak on homophobia in the black community? Sure. I mean, shit, if that's what y'all niggas want, uh, <laughs> y'all already know how them niggas be, man, you know? No, it's not even, that's what I'm saying, is we're not talking to them or about them, we talking, you know, to the Listen. motherfuckers who on the other side of all of it that. It doesn't matter who somebody choose to fuck. That's their business. That's your business. Freedom and of choice. And I ain't gonna judge you, you can't judge for nobody. who you choose. Cause that's your business. That's your business. Yeah, that's your business. Hey, that's your business. See, I ain't mad at you. You ain't mad at for them. For who you do. For who you do. Cause that's your business. Cause that's your business. I mind my business. I mind my business. And that's your business. And that's your business. I mind my business. I mind my business. You mind your business. You mind your business. I mind my business. I mind my business. Bitch. That's what it is. Yeah, that's it's clear. It. That's, that's, that's it. That's that's it. Shit. I mean, I, it's that simple. Say no that's, that's it. It's that simple. You know, you know what I mean? ain't got no problem. Because, you know, I do watch people like, you know what I'm saying, Jane Baldwin. You know what I'm saying? Oh, of course. So, it's one of my favorite motherfuckers. It's not really about what you do. It's about what you say. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. And that nigga's so cold the way he was talking to the white people in the interviews. He'd be like, see, I, as a black man, live a life <laughs> that you could never live as a white man. Yeah. Because you're white and you benefit. <laughs> so America works for you. I, as a black man, work for America. Who was that he was having he's a conversation go with? He's going crazy. Who was the black woman that he was having that conversation with? And uh, he was like, uh, you know what I mean? She was like, well, why can't you lie to me? She was like, you got to respect me enough to lie to me. Don't, don't think that I'm not strong enough to be able to take the reality of what you are. Don't, don't lie to the white man and come home and think I'm not worthy of you giving me the same respect that you give that man. I'm like... Nigga Giovanni. Hey, but that man Nigga used to cold. say, he used to say some cold shit though about how racism. See, racism is like, it's like a system. It's like an idea. To you, it's just a dream. To me, it's my worst nightmare. And I live my worst nightmares every day in America as a black man. I'm terrified. The police, they come to my neighborhood. They don't know my struggles, my power as a black man. It's very limited. See, you as a white man can be mediocre, but me, I could be a great black man and still not be good enough for your society. I was like, this nigga so goddamn cold! Oh, oh my god! Oh, yeah. hey, you, just, you, you know what you just did? You just channeled James Bowles. Nigga, I'm gonna start talking did. like you that. You ain't James Bowles. You know we what? gotta give credit to some of our cold, our, our historical you black leaders like that is, that, and it's one that's still here that I gotta give a shout out to the, the honorable Who? Minister Louis Farrakhan. Yes, man. sir. The way, well, <laughs> I got to talk to You see, there isn't much time for us to pretend, my brother. See, what the white man doesn't understand is we are under a level of pressure that he could never be under. And you have to understand, as a white man in America, we are not looking to infiltrate your world. We are just looking to perfect the world that you have given us and make it better for the people who look as we look. And then he'll just start going. So if you don't understand what it means to be a black man in America, then what you need to understand is you need to get out the way. Cause we coming. I'm like, yeah, whenever, when we coming, minister. I, I love the way he can start so calm, can, but he can get violent as hell at the end. Oh, Mr. Police, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna bother you. I'm not gonna come in your neighborhood <laughs> and teach your children to hate blacks. But if you start killing us, we gonna start killing y'all too. Because Ain't that, nobody no punk or nothing. Everybody's a man. Right, to get this <laughs> up and low. All of the struggle that the black man has been through in America, you think we are afraid to fight? We've never been afraid of the fight. You we, taught us how to fight. You taught us how to be dishonest <laughs> and disloyal. What I'm attempting to do is instill the greatness into my brothers and sisters. God bless you. Hey, man, you going the fuck out. Hey, man, salute to you, brother. You are uh, uh, one of our greatest. And, I rock with you, OG. You know what I mean? And we salute Real you, talk. man, and, and salute to all the black men that have done. See, the thing is, uh, in my opinion, a lot of niggas think the only way you can take you know, uh, uh, 
lessons and things and, and appreciate black men is if they give you something that's monetary. Fuck a handout. Yeah. It's information and shit you can draw from. Salute to Jay Prince. You understand? A nigga that gave us all of this different type of music but showed us how to build an empire. Right. And then run a whole state, nigga. Texas biggest state in America. And that motherfucker got his foot implanted in a state as a black man and right. it fought everything that you can fight, man. So yep. salute to all of the black men. Master P, all of the OG. OG. You know what I'm saying? That did it for us and showed us as young black men that it's possible to get out the ghetto and make something of yourself, oh, man. Yeah. And you ain't never had to give us no money, but you, the game is more Start valuable knowledge. than any dollar, man. For real. Start telling these young nigga, man. For real, man, nigga. And y'all young nigga need to start listening, man. All that. I hate like how no motherfuckers be y'all missing. Y'all fuck me. niggas yeah. ain't listening. Yeah. Listen, man. You don't know shit. Got your mama out. Fuck, nigga. Yeah. Stop putting your hand on your girl. Fuck, nigga. Take care of your kid. Fuck, fuck nigga. nigga. For real. real. Talk. You understand? Go get a job, nigga. For real, because we got a responsibility to us that ain't nobody going to do shit for us but us. So if you a nigga and you want to be lazy and sit around and blame everybody else for your problem, you right. a sucker. You a bitch. Get I your suck ass off this. the motherfucking couch and go do something. And stop doing bitch ass shit. Right. Hey, you going to fraternity or something. This is the perfect time to say this, too. Happy Father's Day. Real talk, man. All the yeah. real niggas take care of their kids. Yeah. Happy Father's Day, my nigga. Happy Father's Day, right my nigga. Happy Father's Day, my nigga. Happy Father's Day, nigga. Goddamn. Happy Father's Day. Yeah, man. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody yeah, fall. That's another thing, man. nigga. You got to be, as a father, you got to be okay with not getting shit and with credit, nigga. Just Fuck credit. It's called sacrifice for Don't your Don't nobody family. give a nigga credit, nigga. Enjoy them socks. That's what, that's what it is. Be happy you're alive. For real. You dig what I'm saying? Right. What'd you get for Father's Day? What you mean what I get? Exactly. <laughs> What'd you give a problem with it? I ain't gonna lie, my girl gave me some money. Word? Yeah, yeah. She was like, what you want? You see how shocked this nigga is? He was like, hell yeah. You told I was like, shit. Nah, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I, I ain't hard to please. I don't give a fuck but about that. But see, that's that another shit. thing about being the bread of another family, though. It's like, it's we, thought don't, they count. we don't want to be giving shit or, you know, We you want to know that you family. willing to do the shit. Right. That's all we can't see. Right. That's what men care about. We right. know that you, we know that shit do. Like, I know right now my girl go do something. But sometimes nigga don't know. Be like, hey man, you think your girl about it? Like, shit, I don't know. Hey, are you? A, hey, let me ask you this: Are you, are you good at receiving gifts? Cause they always criticize black men, so we don't know how to receive gifts. Yeah. We so used to give. I'm good, but I'm like, appreciate it. That shit fat. Right. Like, yeah. Like, what you want to be like, yay, baby? I like, like them. I like. I like them. <laughs> more. Them gifts. The, them gifts. The, the fuck to me, you the want, best gifts is the ones that where a motherfucker listening to who you are and do something that you would have done for yourself. Mm-hmm. Like some shit that you would have really genuinely went out and been happy to do for yourself. When somebody do that for you, it's like, man, I fuck with you. Cause you took the time yeah. out to really listen to a nigga enough to do to this. To know that that's what yeah, I was talking to, about. to do this, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, my criticism is always, well, I can't get you nothing cause you always get shit first and get it for yourself. Right. Well, that's cool. But if you paid attention, that you will understand it's not about, to me, it's not about what you actually get. It's like, you know, they say the thought that counts. Right. It's really the thought that counts with niggas because oh. we got to get out here in the world and, and get it, bro. No matter if you do it or not, we still got to do it. Y'all know how to finesse and make a motherfucker do it for you. Right. We still got, you know how hard it is to get a bitch to do something for, I, once I realized I couldn't get no money out of bitch, I said, I'm tripping. <laughs> I'm looking like a. Oh, you know what? That's I'm a looking point. like a bag. When did you realize? Right. When, and what, what was the situation? <laughs> what was the situation that made you realize this ain't the route to go? That bitch looked at me. I said, "Baby, let me hold a hundred right quick." She was like, "A uh-huh. hundred." <laughs> I was like, hey, "Shit, yeah." She was like, "Boy," she looked at me, and I was like, "Damn, I made it. I should have had for twenty or something." <laughs> <laughs> Damn, but I, on the ride home, I still ain't getting that. So I'm like, damn, like, she I just need shit. To, what? I just need to get me some money. She ain't give you shit. She let me knew I was broke. <laughs> yeah, she confirmed it. She dropped it. me off with no money. We're like, well, get your ass out of my cup. Man, I was like, damn. My mama confirmed it for me, nigga. She was like, I was like, Ma, I want the jewel. And she was like, okay, they $190. Ooh. Ooh. Fuck, I'm nine. Ooh. I ain't got $190. But you better figure it out. I'm responsible for what you need. I can give a fuck about what you want. What you want is on you. What you need is on me. Mm. Ooh. Mm. 
Niggas start working at the barbershop. Bluebirds, Georgia Avenue, black owned business, man. Salute to y'all. Oh, crazy. You know what I mean? Appreciate y'all helped, my nigga. Y'all Check. helped save my life, man. Brushing people off for dollars on Georgia Avenue at nine years old. Start getting my own money from <clears> then and been doing it ever since then. You know, so, my mom used to tell me all the time, man, stick with me. Like every day, right? Like, as soon as I get up, like I just repeat this shit. My mom used to, just like you said, make you go get it yourself. Her, her famous uh, phrase to me was always, well, put your hands on something. Like, figure it out. Yeah. yeah. There's so much shit around here you could be doing. Something. You gotta put your hands Figure it out. Something. Like, she be like, why? Why, son? Why you don't have what? Why you don't? You got everything you need to have everything you want. And then it's like, like you said, 9, 10, 11 years old, you have to, you have to be like, okay. I see what you're saying. So if I get up and I do this and I go, I say make my own plays. So you telling me, that I got the freedom to go get some money. That's mm-hmm. what you allow them. See, that's the difference. That's the lesson that a lot of black parents try to teach black boys and mm-hmm. men that go over motherfuckers' head. Like, you can sit around and ask for what you want all the time, but you ain't put nothing together. Right. You could be cutting some grass, right? It's, it's, it's so much money so to be, be getting. But if you show a motherfucker that you have the initiative to go get any kind of bread by mm-hmm. yourself, trust me. Somebody gonna notice your initiative. Yeah, that point mm-hmm. you made was so cold. Fireworks so blew up, nigga. That's yeah. fireworks, nigga. They For been real. They let you know the shit still on. Nigga, that shit, nigga said some shit so cold blew some shit up. But that's real though. Take like, initiative. As black men, that's what you gotta understand, man. The world ain't got nothing for you. You know what I mean? But some, but like some work. Zero. That's all it is. And that's the thing. This country is for sale. It's always been for sale. So go get you a piece of it. All you gotta do is get out here and stop being afraid to fail and giving a fuck about what niggas gonna say about what you doing. Flip that's that what shit. I learned. Yeah, ain't nothing but a lesson to let you right. know what you need to do. Stupid ass boy. <laughs> Talk somebody. You did. It's your perception on life. You're looking at it wrong. Right. You did, that's real shit. That's real shit. It's like you ain't got, you got a certain amount of time on this, on this plane, man, and you got to get it. And the more you care about what people gonna say about how you move or what you look like it's or what you got on. Get out of here. When I was walking to the Safeway as a little boy and niggas outside riding bikes and throwing footballs, that's cool. Y'all niggas will be here when I get back or you won't. I'll catch y'all next time. Right. But I got responsibility. And because I embraced that, it helped me at an early age realize that that's all that's out here for you, my nigga, is some responsibility. So you black, better man, stop ducking it. It come with a lot of it. So you better stop ducking it. Don't duck the responsibility because that's all the world going to have for you. And the right. more I you duck it, the more you're going to be up under some black woman who accepting her responsibility and yours. I had to tell you, there ain't no way to go as a black man. Nigga today, I say, right now, shout out, I'm going to be real with you. I say, I remember when I ain't had nothing going on. Right now, all you doing is paying your phone bill, right? I said, but that's the only thing you got going on, paying your phone bill. There's gonna be a time when now you're gonna be out here on your own as a man. You're gonna leave your mama out. You're gonna have your own shit. And you might have a child. You gotta take care of your child. Now you got more bills. What I'm letting you know is prepare yourself because it's bills. Ain't, you ain't running, niggas will be running from bills and responsibilities right. and shit. You like, bro, <clears throat> you got to do that. Right. Without question. That's the that's Look, the part that young motherfuckers don't understand. You're I'm in such you a hurry. You got to do that. To be a fucking adult. But once you grown, nigga, you just grown. You, you gonna miss grown. all the days of having no fucking responsibility. You, asked, you went from 21 to like 30 and you were like, <laughs> what the fuck? Damn, nigga, all you been doing was that? Hell no. Right. Somebody asked me a question that was a Hell good ass no. question. Like you said, like niggas rush to be. Uh, adult, somebody asked me if I could talk to myself at 16, what would I say to myself? Mm-hmm. And I would be like, nigga, stop trying to be a grown man. You're not a grown man. Not you. Nigga, you learn, know, listen. You know stop what I thinking would say you know everything, my at nigga. 16, I wouldn't even waste my time telling myself shit because I wouldn't listen. <laughs> right. <laughs> you would be like, get the fuck out of my face. Yeah. <laughs> right. And now, I just tell myself to be aggressive. More aggressive? Hell yeah. I, I wouldn't even be a comedian. I'd be playing basketball. There it is. Nigga wouldn't even tell me. I'd be like, and then, you go but you know, but you know, go you know, hole and you tear that shit up. And a nigga hear that and you know what make that real though? Because you don't understand what it take to tap into the energy to make something of yourself. <laughs> right, right. So if you can go back to that time and give yourself that gym of how to tap into the energy to make something of yourself, you could have got an earlier start on it. So young niggas, if you out there, you watching us and you look up to us and you fuck with us, man, tap into who you are. Stop paying attention to this shit all day. 
Stop looking at the news. Stop thinking whatever's going on around you is what you got to subscribe to and figure out who you are Man. and start beating the motherfucking pavement ASAP. And don't, tell, don't let nobody tell you that you can't because that shit might knock you down. Because it's going to be some hanging that nigga black. Man, what you doing that for? Or, nah, you ain't good enough to do that. Hey, John, don't get discouraged. You see what I'm saying? Because who are they? Right. Who You feel what I'm saying? Who are they? That's some real Remember shit, that right shit right there, bro. So that's Who why I say I tell myself to be more aggressive because I want to let nobody say it. That's just like a nigga telling me right now, you ain't funny. Nigga, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Got a couple of laughs. laughs. Like, nigga, it doesn't matter right. about you, my like nigga. Like, people like, think that, that what they think about they you. They act like you're going to quit right God, then. The guys, right. your you life is crazy. Saying? Dude, you ain't funny. Well, fuck this shit. I can quit really, trying. Really, sir? Man, I've been ready. I've been wanting to work station. anyway. Really, Come man, on, at the gas man. station? I can is. just, hey, man, I'm okay. glad you told me because you saved me a lot of time and money. I mean, right. th that's the thing. But, like, people will have an idea of your life and get mad that your life don't match what their idea is. Right. And it's like, what did you, why do you care about what a person got to say about what you doing? First of all, most people that want to sit around and tell you what to do is telling you about shit they ain't done. Right. And ain't never accomplished. Ain't never even tried to accomplish. But you, nigga, you ain't going to be no goddamn basketball player. Nigga, you, you don't even tie your shoes right. But see, that's the thing that was built enough to demoralize Each a person's perception right. on what he think he is. You see what I'm saying? That's why I never tell a nigga he ain't good. If a nigga can play me a song and I know that shit's some bullshit, I'm like, but this this ass. Let me tell this you. This might be an ass song, but this he might make a hit that. tomorrow. I'm gonna tell you a I story can't tell about him that this. Stop. Shit. You can't tell him to stop. I can't Check this tell out. That. Right. I used to host the rap shit, right? Mm hmm The uh, the open mic rap night when right. I was first starting doing comedy, right? Like 15 years ago. And they, it was like all kind of niggas used to come through there. Some niggas had big ass hits, they you know, eventually. Right. And then some niggas, like you said, was just garbage. So, like every week they'll come back and just be garbage and be garbage. Keep performing that shit. Hard than a motherfucker. Nobody even fuck with it to the point where it's like they didn't perform this shit so much. It's a running joke where everybody laughing like, oh, this nigga ain't gonna quit. Okay, right. we fuck with Buddy now. Right. Now everybody know the little stupid ass song where it become like a little hood. Right. Cause like, you letting them know that you don't give a fuck. This nigga ended up booking more shows than everybody who used to come there. That nigga went all the way around the world with this shit. All the way to Japan, Asia, nigga stayed over there for six, seven months doing shows. Went and these nigga was still in there talking shit about him, See, doing the same shit. It's all about your perception. Yo, you got but the thing is, it's like, nigga, even if the shit garbage, you got to find somewhere where your shit ain't garbage. You got to right. figure Somebody out. Somebody like that. Where you got to, your shit might be garbage in your city, in right. your neighborhood. But niggas yeah, who street. stay over they there, they, they love that man, shit. Man, them niggas been Goobie waiting gobble, on you gobble, to make some more of that. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Uh, uh, Goobie, Goobie, gobble, 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 it's possible, but it's long. It's only possible if you're doing what you want to do. Right. Stop chasing another motherfucker's dream. Find out what your dream is. All right, we comedians, right? Right. This is a true ass fact. Right. No matter what circuit you work at, if you local, some of them motherfuckers ain't never gonna leave, and it ain't just gonna. You don't have to get good on your local circuit right. before you can leave. Uh, the thing that separated a lot of comedians, just like you said, nigga, can be garbage. But they'll go on the road and be garbage. Right. And they'll be garbage somewhere else. Right. You see, they don't know you garbage yet. You might, cause they like you. You got a you got a better success rate in front of a whole bunch of motherfuckers who don't know you. Be like he was all right. What? Right. right. That nigga came over there. He was all right. Cause motherfuckers know somebody, somebody everywhere. And they gonna ask, hey, how was Buddy when he had the show? He was yeah, all right. Shout out straight, shout out oh, straight. you mean to tell me he wasn't garbage? So you mean to tell me this nigga on the road on the road working? And, and decent, but he got, okay. And young niggas, y'all yeah. got the world different than we ever had. We ain't had this shit right here, bro. You can get in contact with so many people. Right now. Right now. I'm talking about right now. Like, bro, you see all types of shit that be. something else I can't help with? No. no. <laughs> the fuck? Hold up, Stan. Why, why your nigga sound like a nigga? Huh? Why your sound like a nigga? It's a nigga? I mean, that, I'm, was, I'm, I'm, I'm that wasn't serious. That was Stan. That yeah. was Stan. That was Stan? Yeah, Stan. Who the fuck is that? Siri, brother. Uh. 
Is there anything else you want to talk about? No, nope. motherfucker. I didn't even know you was listening, my nigga. God damn. They always listen. Yeah, you right, shouldn't man. have brought that phone. I don't trust that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Them motherfuckers got our whole episode. They said they city won 25 states. We got to get these niggas out. <laughs> <laughs> we do want 25 Still states. thought we were through recording. Is there anything else I can help you with? You hear Black <laughs> Lives Matter. The big black, black titties. Big black titties. Big black titties. Big black titties. <laughs> Big Pull black some titties. of those up, Stanley. Stan. Yeah. I have to do that to my big phone. Big black titties. Yeah. <laughs> he said big black titties. It went off. He ain't fucking with those. Fuck with then, those. nigga, I swear to God, I just opened my phone. What was on there? Oh, Stan, motherfucking man. <laughs> this nigga the man. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, Pat, that one. Yeah, that's your element right there. You said it, it, it works. Damn your dude. energy is in the building, nigga. That's crazy. <laughs> Put that good antenna up, man. How the hell he do that? I don't know. That nigga stand the man. He said, I got some fun, them guys. <laughs> Bro, what kind of phone We're is that? We're brothers. <laughs> it's an I'm about to get me one of them bitches. <laughs> I didn't know it was time to upgrade, baby. What, 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 which one you got? The XS Max. That's Big. the old one. That ain't even the new Big one. Big black titties. <laughs> Big black titties. Y'all got them new phones, man? My face. My yeah. face. This is my face. You must got that T-Mobile service. <laughs> you motherfucker be acting like he don't know my face. That shit'll make you mad. You ever try to open your phone while you're in the bed, nigga? You lay it down, that bitch, you... Like, fuck. <laughs> Girl, look me. at you, because you know you're ready to put the pin in. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get out the bed, then. Watch out. Let me Young nigga. <laughs> But I'm the porn inspector. You see what I'm saying? Motherfucker want to judge me for the shit he doing. <laughs> see, that's exactly what we were talking about. Don't let nobody else push that shit off on you, man. Judgmental ass nigga. That nigga said, hey, you know you got to put your pin in. You be ready. She's like, yeah. Hey, man. Hey, get your Listen. ass on, man. He's oh. like, hey, man, he be with that through my face. <laughs> That's why I'm telling you, the fingerprint never go away. I ain't bought a new phone in a long time because I was reading this book about getting rich and it said about 80% of millionaires' phone be about three, four years old. So I just said, fuck it. I'm just going to see. You said every, every millionaire what? They phone be about three, four years old. Oh, I still got an iPhone 6. You know what I'm saying? You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, I got that. This ain't the new one, but this the last one before the new one. Whatever that one is. They this bring them one, motherfuckers out six, like Jordan. This is six iPhones ago. This yeah. is an 8S Plus. See, I, but, but, but look at them. This this how cold the game is. This six different iPhones. But it's the same goddamn phone. Look at this shit. My, that ain't, my screen ain't cracked. This that screen protector. Mine too. I don't need no this, this, this six iPhones ago, this one and a half iPhones ago, and them motherfuckers still look the same. Right. We have. I want a flip phone. We have. I know we have now. This is shit to talk about when you have. Mm-mm. Niggas in there like, look at the phone, bro. <laughs> the same, phone, mate. Bro, these motherfuckers six phones ago, bro. Shit the same, mate. Look, bro, six. Look, it the same size. This a, this a eight, right? You hear me? This a 15. Yeah. I just made a cold point like they getting us, my nigga. Like the nigga standing outside the store, my brother. Don't fall for the trap. I'll tell you how the old. The trap. See, you talked about the trap. I thought you knew what it was, my brother. Don't fall for it. See, That's why I got an iPhone Bro, Siri quit on my phone and work on a newer iPhone. What? No. The bitch quit. She was like, this phone is old. I'm out of here. <laughs> no. Bye. This phone is old. <laughs> the bitch texted me and said, Google, anything you need. Good luck. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> This phone is old. I'm out of here. <laughs> they ain't got Siri on the 5C, do they? 5, nigga? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I, that's Maybe that's way back. That <laughs> <laughs> Your shit look like an iPad, iPod, nigga. That's the 5. The 5C was popping, though. The color ones look like a little Game Boy Advance. <laughs> They were popping. Nigga yeah, walking we around on the little motherfucker. They were popping. They want no new phone. Got a little yellow it. iPhone. Like, yeah, I see you. Fuck it. We out. Here. I want a flip. They supposed to be coming out with the flip. With the razor. Yeah, the, the motherfucker flip up and turn into one of them. You can flip it down the middle. I want that be he they be like a razor for real. <laughs> Remember everybody had blackberries, nigga? 
Bro, what? Little you got the little buttons. scroll ball? Yeah, blue you scroll ass ball buttons. Nigga, you do not do no business, nigga. You do not need <laughs> no goddamn Blackbird. Fuck, Neither you got that phone with all them bitch. buttons on that motherfucker, nigga. You got a space bar, alt, delete, all that shit on your screen. You don't know how to use none of that shit, nigga. We be buying phones just because they popular. Fuck, you need a Blackberry for, nigga. You ain't never sent the email. Fuck wrong with you. <laughs> niggas had blackberries, bro. That shit was dumb as a motherfucker. He said your ass ain't got no beer. <laughs> hey, hey bro, we gotta give a shout stupid, out for this 2020 bro. to niggas who still got prepaid phones. I had a sidekick with mine didn't work. <laughs> They just it was your sidekick for real. I put numbers oh, I used to use that bitch like, baby, as a phone time. book. <laughs> 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 nah, it's a new you couldn't tell niggas. me shit when I had my Blackberry, bro. I really thought I was handling business because so I was scrolling shit. Nah, was, I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm get you. I was I'm, doing comedy. They was emailing the contracts. I was signing that bitch right there. <laughs> I can just do it on the phone. Send it right quick. Damn. Nigga, this the perfect phone that ever came out. What? That started all that shit. What? T-Mobile Dash. I don't even know what that is. Any nigga who know, they gonna be like, T-Mobile Dash. That was the fastest phone out. For internet, I can get on anything right now. Nigga, you know what right the phone now. was? That was the first phone that would do. You be like, right now, right now. See, nigga. that makes sense. That's cold right, right there. Now, That's nigga. a cold one right there. T-Mobile Dash? That's the cold one. But for us, for my, right did it, I, a couple of years before you, nigga, the one that did it for us was that motherfucker. Next no. tail, dog. That Next, shirt. No, wait, wait, wait. That even shirt, big. bro. Get, get. Wait. Hey, bro, where you at? Come on, number the walkie talkie. Right. Y'all was so stupid. But it's still, it's a walkie talkie and a phone. But nigga. you loud as fuck. Hey, everybody hear y'all whole But that was cool. Where you at? I'm over here, bro. That was cool then. But even before Men that. Stoke, bro. Cha -cha. It was the motherfucking Nokia. Hey, can you call him, Nokia. The one with the sn with snake on it. Yeah. yeah the little Nokia what? with the little chunky You could knock screen. a nigga out with one of them. Them bitches was bricks, bro. Hey, that would text me got real. You charge that bitch for like every three days. <laughs> that, motherfucker, that motherfucker had 11 bars, bro. T9? Niggas nigga, be like, bah, 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 bah. You taste it fast as hell. Oh, you know another one that was cold when they came out with the camera phone. You remember them first camera phone pictures, dog? Them you, shits was like. I them, always was Them ugly. shits was like I was mad ugly. 96, my nigga. That was some of the worst pictures you could ever see. Used to load like this. <laughs> right, nigga. You couldn't see what they was. It looked like LeBron on NBA 2K1, nigga. All my pictures look far as hell. I used to take them up close as hell. <laughs> I'm like, man, I'm ugly. I'm not posting that. I had the Nokia to bitch flip that. up to the keyboard, then you can lay that bitch down. <laughs> My shirt is ugly. <laughs> what? Well, that was Facebook was popping. What? You posted? Hey, your picture got to be found. You Facebook. must have posted a lot of pictures, man, because I be always be scrolling and I see a new picture of you every day. I be like, does he know y'all have these? Listen, guys? I got some oh. ugly ass pictures. Oh, that one when he was at the prom, nigga. I went at the prom. That was my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> DC! DC! Ah! <laughs> ah! My bad! My bad! I thought you was at the prom, my nigga! Ah! Your cousin made you get dressed to stand in the front yard with her! Ah! <laughs> Prom on the same day, bro. <laughs> and you is stupid. Everybody like, look at your date. I'm like, uh, because, bro, she, she is. What I want to say, her self esteem about her head. No, I ain't talking about her. I'm, I'm talking about that. your suit, nigga. You had the motherfucker zoot suit. Are you talking about that peach motherfucker? <laughs> I would kick you down. You bullshit, bro. I had that mohawk. What? The mohawk one. That's what? the one I'm talking about. That boy looked like he worked for Blade. Bro, boy. What? That, that nigga looked like he worked for Blade. I had killer. that design in my head. shit out of Vampire tonight, nigga. And fuck hold you, up. bitch. Hey, hold oh. up. I'm up. I'm packing the whole motherfucker. Oh. see the oh. funniest picture of you, though, Nick. <laughs> it's the one with you in the back of the girl, nigga. You see what? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sitting like this. Damn, I got a box hat. The nigga got an in that bitch, that one. this motherfucking bitch. Oh, nigga. nigga, I missed that one. God damn. I'm sitting like this. The big ass middle of the ball. You ready? One of the square ones. Yeah. Bitch with two hammers. Bitch with two hammers. Down here, we want block. Oh, Ooh, shit. No one's had it. The nigga got oh, block. Oh, shit. Hey, you been in the street. Look uh, how Marvin Gaye looking at your earring. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'll put mine in there, buddy. He said, nigga, what do you want? Oh, that nigga, was, was hey. he showing off the earring, bro? I don't even know what bitch you talking about. Nigga, I ain't the back seat out of the car. He said, I got blocked. That nigga got a big ass earring. The earring the biggest shit in the whole picture. This nigga little in the back seat. That nigga was feeling so fucking funny. But look, but see, down here at Atlanta, you 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 had blocks in your you oh, having your business. Okay. You see what oh, I'm saying? Shit, if you walk uh, around and you ain't got no you ain't got no block, oh you ain't talking about that. Oh man, them old pictures, man. Oh. Them old pictures be funny than the motherfucker. Hey, man. Everybody, DC, bro. Hey boy. You got some funny ass pictures out. Nigga done grew up. Yo, I got some funny ass pictures. Nigga. Yeah. 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 We oh all do. Bro. You was a little squirrel. You all do, bro. Nigga. When you were young, I be like, eh. Like, yeah, nah, wait till I go home. That's where all the fucking real stupid ass pictures. I'm gonna let you know how, how long I bet on this dumb ass shit. Damn, boy. I got some, I got some ugly ass pictures now. Boy, yeah. I got shit. Some ugly ass. I'm talking about baby pictures. I told y'all, nigga. Boy, you forever in a big ass suit. Man, listen. <laughs> I grew up in that era. <laughs> shit. Me and my cousin got a picture from my middle school prom, nigga. We dressed like we in after seven, nigga. I'm talking about the big ass R&B singer suits, nigga. I had the Chinese collar like rush hour, nigga. We was the flyest niggas in the shit. world, bro. I thought <laughs> I was motherfucking, man, you could tell me I wasn't got damn Chris Tucker off rush hour at the middle school prom on the Spirit of Washington, nigga. Shit. With the buttons down the middle that hooked. Nigga, that was the fly suit in the world. I thought dog. somebody had photoshopped your head when I seen your baby face. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God yeah. damn, man. Yeah, my head been this big, bro. Damn, we had it. Damn. You ain't never <laughs> seen my baby picture, bro. You got it? Hell yeah. Hey, man. Got Brace it. yourself. All right. <laughs> I'm about to show you this. Damn, that fucked up. She cold, man. No, it ain't. Well, for my mother, it was, but she dealt with it. She straight. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go get go home and get some pictures from my child. I hated all of them because I, I was real shiny in all my pictures. And on Vaseline. <laughs> Got that Vaseline. Yeah, yeah nigga. I was <laughs> shiny in a bitch. Shiny. Hey, I remember one time I used a whole bottle of grease. I was like, boy, I love the way this shit make my what skin What kind of look. grease? Was it Morris? Nope, it was hair conditioner. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at the boss and hacked this. I never read this container. That's crazy. Uh, one time I washed, <laughs> I washed my hair with some. I need to start reading. <laughs> what? Yeah, one time I you washed, washed your hair with some summers in. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's probably some of the dumbest shit. I've <laughs> Hey man, I had to think about that shit like hey, man. <laughs> that. Hey man, that shit was burning like a motherfucker. Huh? Like hey, no wonder you bald, nigga. You can't never recover from that one, nigga. God <laughs> damn. Yeah, I was probably about head. ten or eleven, so I ain't know what the fuck that shit was. See, I think my skin fucked up for me bathing with dishwasher detergent. For it is. <laughs> Laundry detergent. You just, I'm like, I'm just so ashy for no reason. <laughs> bro, how long did you use the dish detergent? <laughs> it's like, I just, I got out the bath and I'm just so white. Uh -uh. And I put, on, I put on lotion. You know what I'm it like, is. I'm like, mama, what's wrong? I know what it is. But what is it? Your skin think you dishes, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real, bro, I bathe with. Bro, I never get bro the the great the purple used to be my favorite cat. The purple, I used the to, dog. I used to go this to nigga the used to take ass with the dog. I used to go to the sink and grab it and go to the tub. Me and that bitch. Oh my god, man! All the bubbles. He probably did it just like that. Now you see that motherfucker let all the little fuzz. Oh you, you sitting god, in that motherfucker man. like left over. I'm sitting over. all the dish detergent just. <laughs> Yeah, you would have hated growing up at my grandma's house. Daddy talking about, well, that, that, that new dish detergent I just bought. It's, it's by the tub. It's over here by the tub. Real project niggas, you ever took a bath with some laundry detergent in there, now you just gritty? Oh, uh. no, no, we ain't bathing no laundry. Yeah, that shit happened. That shit probably stink, man. You some chloride? No, no it's a, not the chloride. Powder <laughs> shit. Oh, nigga, I thought you was talking about liquid detergent. I didn't know you was going that hard. You done put, you done put some comet in this shit with you. Nigga, <laughs> what? He said, you nigga done put the look. <laughs> that shit started you know sizzling. What? What? I, thought, I thought that was normal. My bad. Hell, Hell you know, my detergent is worse. Nigga, no. you put the powder. <laughs> I didn't. And you talk about me. 
I didn't put this it in the there. Dish but you put this it I grew up with my grandma. That's the type of shit old people in the South. Put that laundry detergent in there and get your head in that tub. <laughs> then you wonder, you wonder why the water great. Then you get in there and it's gritty. You're like, this guy, my booty itch, grandma. <laughs> <laughs> get your ass in that bed. <laughs> I want to know how I'm itching. <laughs> you thinking you smart. Grandma, can you at least put me in the dryer? Because I'm itching. I think. Hey, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you shouldn't have put that tide in my bath water. I can get clean by myself. <laughs> oh, shit. Stop putting lines in the tide. Hey, this nigga said it was gritty. This nigga sat on the. That shit ain't dissolved all the way. It's supposed to move back and forth. You nigga, know when you ass. tell your mama. Oh, this nigga had tide in the bath. When your mama be like, man. go to bed. Yeah, see, bro. that's why oh, I was going to tell you that. When we said, Grandma, I said, put the laundry detergent in them tub and now I'm itching and that's why I can't go to bed, but you don't even love me enough. I'm itching. Oh, I've been itching for three days. <laughs> <laughs> They got eczema, man. They were crazy. Oh, my bad. Shit, man. <laughs> okay. I done forgot what the fuck I was looking for. You were looking for your baby pig. Oh, there you go. Appreciate you. You out Whatever, y'all niggas had a better life than me. I grew up worth off of two dollars worth of lunch meat at a time. Well, I grew up off fake clothes. Ain't no telling when this shit gonna rip. That's me. that's still luxury. My mama was you buying. Ain't what I said. My mama was buying two dollars thirteen. I gotta sit down, gentle. My mama was buying me size 13 shoes in middle school, nigga. I wore eight and a half. The <laughs> fuck is you talk about? You nigga, know, I used to wear a plaid with the stripes. Nigga, the fuck is you, you talking seen about? That, you seen that video of that nigga on that basketball court with them big ass shoes? And buddy was like, he must have been looting. He went on that last and got the right. last. That's how my shit used to look every day, nigga. Big shoes. Big shoes, nigga. I'm talking about big stuff. <coughs> Once she bought the Timberlands, it was over with. I said, oh. you can't buy my shoes no more. That's the right, big ass bro. Timberlands, dog. I look like, man, for real, Bob the Builder. <laughs> That's crazy, my nigga. Everybody had new shoes and them updated shoes. And I will fake F01. <laughs> that shit traumatized you, didn't it? Yes, it did. Cause you didn't mention it. I heard you say, speak on it. Them real. Bro, I used to try to. Hold convert up, these other, real. Oh these no, real. these definitely real. Okay. Most definitely. I used to, I used to try to convert other people to go fuck with the person mm-hmm. I used to buy my shoes from. I used to be like, why are you spending a hundred, bro? And you can go get two pair for eighty. They go one. Go your head, big as. <laughs> bro, you look like you nine. How old you in right? <laughs> like four. Shit. <laughs> you got nine in your head. <laughs> <laughs> Got a nine on the head. Well, goddamn. Yeah, man. My All the old people used to like, see him when he was little, like, that boy gonna be somebody. For real. Mega Mind, nigga. That's what's up, man. You ever played football? Mm-mm. Yeah, yeah. Just a no, waste that of shit head. was illegal. They had to get him Pause. a kick of hell. Yeah. God damn, man. Mm. Got a grown man face. <laughs> see the chair, nigga, the wicker chair, nigga. Show you, Got to get the close up of that one, nigga. Big head ass. Let me show you something. That's the one. That's the, al- <laughs> that's the album cover. I was an ugly man. Hey, baby. man, I need y'all on this mixtape that I'm working on. What you working on? It's called Goddamn. I don't know yet. I need a title. I don't know what I want to call it, though. What you want to call it? I don't know. That could have been it right there. It's called I Don't Know. Goddamn. What you want to call it? How about Chocolate Coochie and Comedy or something? <laughs> Chocolate coochie and comedy. I fuck with it. That work. I like that. Chocolate coochie and comedy. Did Chocolate coochie and comedy. Uh, yeah, some shit like that. God damn, boy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you having an allergic reaction or something. <laughs> Cheeks fat as a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I was an ugly ass baby. You say I got an old man face, boy. You got that adult, boy. <laughs> no, I did my shit on my home screen, though. Can't oh, yeah. know that my shit. See, you, look, you look like a regular, like a regular kid, See, nigga. You fresh and shit. Look at me, I'm burnt. <laughs> like I'm oh, burnt. Shit. Yeah, my I shit. I had weed my lips. My shit right there on the home screen. <laughs> I had weed lips. <laughs> He like been smoking blacks already. I'm oh, smoking man. good black. You, was too, you were too young to be taking pictures at that point. Your neck wasn't even stable. You slipping on that picture. <laughs> <laughs> that now my sister had to hold my shit up. 
This is the 85 South Show. It always will be. I'm it don't matter if you're an ugly baby. All that means is you're going to grow up to be an ugly human. That is all it means. <laughs> That's all it means. Ugly, ugly human being. People think it's the end of the world because you're ugly. Fuck that shit. You, you just got to hang around people who are uglier than you so right. you can be the pretty friend. You the cute one out the ugly bunch. Yep. Got to embrace your ugliness. Come on now. Embrace your ugliness. Tell the truth. Embrace your ugliness. Shout out to all the ugly niggas that be pulling fine women because fine women love an ugly nigga. Embrace your ugly nigga. Uh, that nigga with a fine ass. Chico, make sure you tell them to watch them shows Embrace we did. Embrace your them ugly, digital ugly, joints, ugly man. ass nigga with a fine ass. <clears throat> Shout out to MTV, man. Oh, yeah. Smash your dash. Ugly nigga. Uh, yeah, nigga with a fine ass. What's my secret? That shit was funny. That shit is funny, man. You was the MTV, man. Y'all go to the MTV uh, website and well, I mean YouTube, YouTube, whatever, and watch them, them shows we shot. What's my secret? Is speaking of Smash shows, or dash that we shot. We had the season finale of '85. Oh yeah, with DC on there, be oh! the star. And speaking of, DC, this is the perfect segue. Our timing is is magic. What happened? See this shirt right here? Oh, this right my here. Nigga. Yeah. You about to drop those. Yeah. Official. 24 so, hours. This, yes, sir. I'm supporting a black business. You do the same. You see it. Yeah, Superstar yeah. shit. I appreciate you, bro. Look like the one your uh the crackhead uncle in your family used to wear at once it got old. You be like, nigga, stop wearing that. We got them new now. So you can hey, get man. Them you no, can I get appreciate them. You can get them and pass it down through the family like these shirts be. Your mama oh, yeah. still got one with easy E on it look like this. Yeah. So fuck with they it. They got a wrestling shirt like that. Come on, man. <laughs> Hey man, I paid you the ultimate respect. I appreciate it, man. I fucked to you, Sean. You did? That's right, too. Hell yeah. We out here, man. Make sure you go to the 85. I cut it off before I nut, though. I was like, this is, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> we can play it while we fucking, but I need a few minutes of quiet so I can focus. I don't need DC in here with me like that. I, I know the nigga. I can't hear all that now. Yeah. Cut that, come on now. He don't understand. Cut that off. Man. That is hilarious. Let me get me now. Let That's me get me. Funny. That's funny. <laughs> that is funny as fuck, bro. Hey, man. Yeah, I cut it off. Boy. Yeah, hey, right, right, come on, hold up, hey, whoa, 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 Give me whoa, that. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, bro. Hold up, bro. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, my God, oh, man. Love. I That's understand. beautiful, man. Make sure you go to uh, 85apparel.com and get you some of this good merchandise. Everybody is supporting black businesses, so support some black businesses. And definitely support the black businesses that support you. You know oh, what I mean? Definitely. Fellas, figure out how to make your lady have an orgasm, or I will. <laughs> <laughs> this is a warning. That is a sh I need that. <laughs> this is a warning. That's a cold one. That's a t-shirt right there. Cold. That's a t-shirt. You better figure out. Teach a woman how to have an orgasm or I will. Or I will. And that is a cold fizzy. Whoa. This is a threat. That's better fuck your life up. That's a threat. That's a cold fact. It got to say that's a cold it's fact. A cold we can turn around. Cold that's a cold that's fact. That's a cold fact. Nigga, cold don't fact. you got... <laughs> Don't you think that shit over On the with. back, you need to have a picture of a bitch giving a nigga the finger. Turn around. Oh, you got what I said. For real. That's what I said. Cold Ugh. fat. <laughs> That's cold. You remember yeah. when a couple yeah. years ago they had that song mm -hmm. where they was like, the ladies was like, money make me come. This uh -huh. shit been off by. Wouldn't that be cold if you <laughs> actually I ever had this song. buy yeah, a bitch you did. shit and just make her come right then? Like if you give her a <laughs> gift and she just busts a nut right there, wouldn't that be hard? What have you got? So just like, what if a woman really could come just off some shit you bought her or some money you gave her? Like if I just if gave some shit, she like, oh, I'm like, hold up, baby, fuck wrong with that. Yeah. You all right? You, you, Soon as you handed her forty dollars, she, she get she's wet. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they do that anyway, but you said calm though. Okay. He said handed her forty. Nigga. It never go above the forty. Ever. You were fucking up the game, sir. Don't go above that, that forty three. What is wrong with you? What type of standard are you saying? You don't sentence? go over 40. You don't go over the 40. You don't go over the 40. It's in five print. <laughs> Nigga, <laughs> don't go over the 40. <laughs> you fucked the game up. What is you think about it, if you think about it, most of the shit a woman buy is cheap than a motherfucker. Fashion over. 
They will get a whole outfit for seven dollars and don't even Man, wear no I was bra. In Lenny's and then they save the even more money because they don't wear no bra with it. Truth. It just be all they had to do is put some panties and some shoes on. She, no panties, no man. They just put on clothes bro, for nine dollars. I'm in Lenox Mall today. This lady walked up. See, he was like, let me take a picture. She on the phone with somebody. She was like, yes, bitch, they got jeans in there for 63 cents. Which size you went? I said, God damn. What the fuck she was in? I don't know. Somebody got a sale going on. They were selling <laughs> jeans for 63 cents, my nigga. I ain't. I was like, you better get as many of them as you can, man. Damn, 63 cents. Ladies, if you wear she jeans. You're going to be like me when she sit down. <laughs> <laughs> if you wear jeans that cost 63 cents, your coochie going to stink. <laughs> That's a good point. Yep, because that ain't real material. That fabric gonna throw that pH balance to Dr. <laughs> Pepper. <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> you had to edit that out. That was too graphic. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. <laughs> he said Dr. Pepper. Oh, you, don't, you don't know what the aftertaste is. Uh, hey, man. Ugh. I'm gonna start can't, apologizing. Can't, I, can't, I can't call it. I'm gonna start apologizing for some of the shit I say. <laughs> can't just put a taste on it. Like, people get mad at us when we be saying bitch all the time. Really? I know. Bitch is a figure of speech. Bitch, shut up. I know, and those probably just <laughs> people who really bitches in real life. Right, like, every time you hear the word bitch, they just get into They're it. they words. Bitch. Stop tripping off words, unless you're going to put some action behind them. Don't be mad. I'm it's just the word. You, you only, the word, only words that offend you are the ones you allowed to offend you. It's a lot of words, motherfucker. This is what it is. You know what word offends me? What? <clears throat> Broke. Yep. That shit hurt my feelings. Mm-hmm. Bro, bro, you you gotta be real. You know what I'm saying? When you yeah, use the word shit broke. like a curse. Cause broke is yeah. I you feel like a motherfucker can speak broke onto you. Right. You can't be like, oh, broke. You like, oh, oh wait whoa, a minute. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, hold up. Damn, we arguing now, but don't just say no shit like that. Hey bro, stop, because I'm about to start right. sweating. Yeah, Even yeah, every time yeah. you say it, that's certain words that go into that yeah, category that trigger like, me. Man, yeah. Broke, police. Niggas, you see that? What you the see? fuck? Exactly. What is, what is, that's yeah, a I got up quiet. Word. I went. I like. That's a fucked up word, man. Mm -mm. That's the boy. The I just, I just say, I, I, I won't say broke. I just be like, shot ain't trying to do shit. You know what I'm saying? That mean same thing, but in another category. I ain't, I can't say that word. Yeah, broke worse than poor. Yeah, yeah. Broke mean your mind. Poor is the condition. Broke is how you living in it. Right. Ooh. Bro, one more time. Broke is the condition. No, uh one more time. Broke. You said poor is the... Broke is the condition. Poor is how you living within that condition, nigga. Fucked up. <laughs> See how quiet it got? Don't nobody want that broke shit to be spoke on them. That yeah. shit like a curse. Yeah. Got to be money wealth. <laughs> wealth over here. <laughs> wealth over there. <laughs> you don't go to black church. Move. Wealth. <laughs> I just feel wealthy. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga just threw some wealth around the room. Throw a little wealth around. Throw a little wealth around. See, that makes you want to turn to your Bibles and read about two brothers. Brother Horace Mays, where you at? There were two brothers. Uh -huh. See, a lot of people who uh, misinterpret the word uh, think when you say two brothers that you mean actually two people. But I want to speak about two brothers, Cain and Abel. See, if you think about the words, these are not people at all. It's about your wants and your ability. See, she can speaks on your ability, but are you able? See, can can kill that ability. See, because able is short for ability, meaning are you able to? But see, when you asking can, you're seeking permission. Mm-hmm. You see how doing and asking kills each other. It's more about doing. Fuck ask. <laughs> <laughs> See, Cain and Abel had a sister Amen. named Avail. You Did you know that? Mm -mm. Short for availability. You have to be available before you can be, be able. able. Cool. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. didn't want to know you a few, because I do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, you ain't heard what I said. Because mm -hmm. when I said what I said, you weren't listening with your ears. You, you had your mind set in your heart. <laughs> now see, uh, some people, they, they trying to hate me and they keeping hate in their heart. See, you can't let hate live in your little chest. You gotta let that hate out. Mm -hmm. So I invite all the haters to hate me openly. Mm -hmm. Don't hate on me <laughs> in lowercase letters. When you're hating on me, 
put it in big letters so I can see it all. <laughs> I want to know that you hate. Don't sneak hate me. I looked around one day and I said, God damn, I ain't got no haters. I'm doing too well. <laughs> What's going to motivate me? Don't nobody not like me no more? I love as soon as we post the video up. It be 11 dislikes. Nigga, you ain't let me finish. How you hate it and you ain't even finished? Can you unlike the dislike? <laughs> what if you kept watching it after you dislike it? Suck my dick. <laughs> and leave me alone. I said, suck my dick. <laughs> and leave me alone. What you say? What you say? Suck my dick. <laughs> and leave me alone. One more time. That's all I want. One more time. That's all I want. Suck my dick and leave me alone. There you go. <laughs> I'm talking about as soon as I finish, get back to doing what you were doing. Go in the other room. Walk off. Mm. <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> because you can and you're available. <laughs> but are you able to suck my dick <laughs> and leave me alone? <laughs> Hey man, somebody leave me alone. Somebody leave me alone. One more time. Oh, that was beautiful. And thank you, DC. I want to thank you because you just tried to help me say that shit I was saying the right way, and I still said it wrong. I what? told you. What? I just I just agree with all like, about it. What yeah, you I said that wrong. wrong. I was like, yeah, I, I ain't said, go. You I know, said, it's, I, it's, the it's his point turn. Was you know. Poor. It's the condition and broke is how you living in it. Right. I fucked it up and my nigga tried. That's a brother right You know there. what it is? He helped, He tried to help me. I ain't listen. He was like, well, I guess he wanted to change it. Yeah. Well, I, I was like, that ain't it. <laughs> but I ain't going to keep forcing it. I'm like, yo, that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what, that's what it is, bitch, bro. <laughs> Niggas got it because they rewind it. You said it. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> they rewind it. They, they, they hit. I feel like we won't even have to say this shit at this point, but make sure you continue to watch and support Wild and Out Most during the pandemic. They got a lot of marathons they've been running on VH1. I don't give a shit if you don't watch it. Turn your fucking TV on there and walk yeah, off and go on. back. Just let it run on. Let it run in the background. And then when yeah. they go off and you get tired of watching that, click back over and then just go to a random episode of 85 South, skip the 35 minutes and just watch that. Cause you don't remember what the fuck you seen mm -mm. anyway. Run our numbers up. Just There's so much shit, shit we be talking about. Uh, I go back and look at them shit. I be like, this shit is hilarious. Everything, my nigga. Everything had to happen. We didn't talk about it, bro. And we got so look much shit to talk about. Look how many times we didn't did how the police treat us on the show. Bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, just of course it's been going on, we but didn't we didn't did talk about everything, bro. And there's so much more to talk about. Niggas don't even understand. Yep, the world will continue to rotate as the earth gets bigger. When it's cold outside. Anybody who know the rest of that knows that that ends with how many bitches want to fuck this nigga named Snoop Doggy. <laughs> Shout out to Snoop Doggy Dog. Snoop Doggy Dog. I call the nigga Doggy Dog just because don't nobody else do it. Right. Salute to Uncle Snoop. Yep. See, that's what I'm saying. How many bitches want to fuck this nigga named Snoop? Doggy, I'm all the above. I'm too swift on my toes to get caught up with you hoes. Mm. Snoop ain't never let me down that one time. That's Snoop one a real the OG. Songs ever written right there, boy. Beautiful is the coldest song Snoop ever did when they did went to Brazil and shit. Mm -hmm. No, I went to Beautiful. I just need you to know. You're my favorite girl. <laughs> Then that nigga had Charlie Wilson on that bit. I just want you to know that you. All right, see, it's a classic. All right, that man. Should, hey, cold. make sure you continue. Oh, why, oh, why, oh, why, oh, why? <laughs> <laughs> I said that uh, nigga with the yelling yeah, on that bit. Yeah, yeah. Then for real, come back whispering. Oh, there's just something about you. <laughs> it's cold. Cold as fuck. Legendary. Hey, make sure you keep shopping 85 apparel. We got all this on deck, restocked. Hit the quit touch at itch.com, grab yeah. you some of this quit touch shit. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with us a long way. Hey, Chad, a strong Chad. way. You got the, you got the, you got the. Chico Bean about to drop something for you. The yeah. Chico Bean Fall Collection <laughs> is coming real soon. He gonna be selling a lot of merchandise, a lot of items and shit. The Chico Bean all cap, all that shit audience. coming. Hell yeah. Got a wave cap. Coming out, Chico Bean line. Starting this size, extra large enough. Oh, I had a mic yep. on. <laughs> I, yeah. Ain't I no small you, you size. Ain't got we been helping none. each other this whole time, bro. I told you, yes, you might. Feel like so, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yes, sir. Love Much love to all the couples that broke up a couple months ago, but you st stayed together because, you know, it's a pandemic and shit. But as soon as the world opened back up, y'all still broke up. Got to give some love. They can't split up because they both of their name on the house. Right. They got two more months on the list. I leave when you turn, take my part, take your part. Yeah. <laughs> got to give some love to the ladies <laughs> with the good coochie because y'all really keeping a lot of people from going crazy. Take a bath, there. though. Even though you got good coochie, still take a bath. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? What happened? They just got bathed sometimes. Oh. <laughs> you be th the ones that's bathing. Not the ones he talking about. <laughs> the ones with good coochie and bathing. Salute the J-O-N over there. He wants some coochie, too. Yeah. We tell her. Some that nigga want to be there play the flute. And leave me alone. <laughs> Weird man that play the flute. And leave me alone. Sup my dick. And leave me alone. Don't leave me alone if you're good. You want some more? I'm gonna let you know. All right, suck it two times, then go on somewhere. <laughs> two times. <laughs> man, y'all niggas is the greatest, man. Oh, that's what we give, have a song called Chocolate Coochie and Kush. It'll be a weed song, too. That should Put be that good. on the mixtape. And we gotta have Erica about to do incense. Right. Ooh. And be smoking them while we singing the song. Ooh. So much coochie in the air. Right. Go well, out smoke. Of course, fuck with us on social media. Keep doing what you've been doing. Black lives matter. Black lives always matter. Black always lives always, always matter. Always will. always will. Always will. Black lives matter. D. D. Yeah. yeah. All Black races, all matter. races yeah. could Black die and go to hell. Yeah. Huh? Pull down all the Confederate flags. Say so all races can die and go to hell. Mm -hmm. They did really can. Even if they don't go to hell, they could just be off earth off for a minute. Make it easier yeah. for a nigga to get Put them in a cage there. where they can do that shit by themselves, where they like, we don't want to be over here. All right, we'll go in this cage. I'm tired of 70 year old <laughs> white people making all the decisions. And they got all time. Disrupt the, the, disrupt the system, corrupt nigga the system. Nigga, think he's 29, he's 72. <laughs> Bitch, shut up. Be the change you want to see. Right. And then all the people that's out here fucking with niggas, thank you for revealing yourself. Right. I hope it's game these fuck niggas. And before thank you we for leave, revealing who you are. Before we leave, I gotta go, man. I know we gotta wrap this up, but I don't know what you got going on in life. But always remember that Marvin Gaye is looking at you. Just like that. He's like, no the fuck I ain't. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing about that face. You don't even know if he's agreeing or disagreeing. He just got but it on. There's something it. about that face that lets you know. Something got to change. <laughs> something got to change, man. Something got to give, goddamn. Anything got you change. got going on you want to drop out here? Man, ain't shit going on but the rent. <clears throat> most but most of it. Still out here. DC. Go uh, bang that 24 hours oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. all day, Most every up. day. You know what they need to do? <laughs> Put it in rotation. Go bang that shit. No Keep rotation. streaming. Go Got watch some the motherfucking videos. Got some hoes on the blood of the night. It's the rain on the man. Fuckin' with these hoes. Oh, 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 oh. That ain't it, but that's what I be saying. Make when they get to that part, I change it to hoes. For real. Because you be like, oh, oh. But I be like, oh, 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 Yeah. We only got a little bit of time, so I'm trying to hit it right now, baby. Yeah, you know that. And then I be trying to do the high note. I can't never get that bitch. I be like, sing your low game. The year is For real. Oh. I be fucking with this shit. I be riding around listening to everything. Oh, yeah, we be riding around listening to the flat for a minute. Man, listen to that shit. Better than me. They y'all gotta go shit. bang that shit. I'm trying to get that bitch. You know the gold, coldest shit. This the coldest DC Young Fly song. That that fucking pretty lady. Now I be riding around like I'm in another country with the windows down. Hey, pretty lady. Hey, pretty girl. Roll up, nigga. Hey, nigga, don't be understanding, bro. That nigga got rain. Nigga got hits, man. But y'all go get that 24 hour, man. Scream that bitch. Trying to get that bitch gold. You dig what I'm Hell saying? Yeah. Scream that motherfucker, man. Fuck that go go. bitch, man. Fuck your side bitch to that bitch, man. I'm straight feeling. Oh, hi. Fuck. Oh, and we going back on the road. July 31st, my boy, bitch, uh, baby, man. Uh, Murder Beach. You dig what I'm saying? July 31st. So, you no, know, we trying to pop this bitch back out. I'm still, I, I got a lot of shit in motion, though. I done wrote a couple movies and TV shows. Right. What's up? So we ain't boo, you know what I'm saying? 
Uh, well, there you have it, folks. This has been another rendition of the 85 South Show. We are here live in your motherfucking face asking you how it tastes. Suck my dick and leave me alone. I'm out of this bitch. Dig. Brothers. Yeah. 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 Yeah.